everybody. I'm Yvonne Williams with Back to Earth Creations and we are back from Memphis. <laughs> and uh, boy, what a weekend. <laughs> Still getting a few things kind of shifted and tangled around. Trying my best to not make messes of everything. Hey, Lisa. And for the first time in a year and a half, I missed two days in a row for uploading videos. But we were horribly behind and needed a break. And I was like, I'll start back on Tuesday. Um, hey, Bernie. Hey, Manny. Hey, Lisa. Oh, thanks for forgiving me. Um, but no, it's just, oh, boy. Two, I don't want to do conventions back to back anymore. Hey, Kason. Oh, uh, hey, Carol. <laughs> I missed y'all, too. So, what's on for today? Um, well, we've got all sorts of stuff that we need to be doing today. Let me get this stuff taken care of. There we go. Hey, Kaz. Still no news on your package, Kaz. Any news on your end? Where'd my hair tie go? Well, I was going to try to put my hair up, but I don't have a hair tie, so. <laughs> it's officially autumn, I think. It's all cold, and the leaves are falling. Hey, Mikio. Hey, Izzy. Hey, Mary. Um, but yeah, today, uh, I wanted to talk to you guys and let you know, um, use a pencil to hold it up. That never really works. It breaks the pencils. <laughs> so, <laughs> I still have a couple of little hand-painted glow-in-the-dark sleeping goddess faces. This one's probably my favorite. This one's of me. I don't know if you can tell. I was like, I'm gonna make a little Vaughn face. <laughs> um, and then we also have this one, the little steampunk cat one. These are still for sale up on my Etsy. And let me go ahead and get those put up onto the site. Um, the convention went pretty well, I think. Um, they changed it to a new venue. Um, so there's growing pains for that, you know, um, <laughs> and, uh, let me get something copied over real quick. Okay. And now I should be able to see y'all's comments and stuff, too. Um, they changed the, uh, the convention from the Hilton there in Memphis in the, like, the Poplar area, um, over to Graceland. The guest house. The guest house in Graceland, which apparently is not a good neck of the woods. Um, considering... The consensus seems to be that if you stayed in the gated area... Do you want to come over here real quick? No. Okay. You you have a perspective on this too, and I think you could lend yourself to that. I'm, As I'm you're in a match. match. Yeah. What if I came over there to you? If you want. Ha! Okay, be right back, guys. I'm gonna go sit by my Randy because I miss the heck out of him. We've been so busy for so long. It seems we finally took an evening and just hung out together yesterday, and it was phenomenal. Um, but that just left me wanting more. <laughs> uh, are we able to plug in over nope. here, or do you think we need to? We'll just if keep we an hurry. eye. <laughs> okay. If we hurry, it'll be fine. But not, not able to plug in. But yeah, uh, the consensus seemed to have been that if you stayed within the gated area, you were typically okay. Uh, I say typically because there was reports of an individual who came in with the crowd, who didn't have a badge or anything. And he was just breaking into people's rooms. Yeah. Like, not stealing anything, but... Like using their showers, yeah, using their toilets, um, drinking the... water out of like, you know, the glasses and stuff. So that was uh, really, really bizarre. But um, it was it's kind of the rough part of town, and typically when people say it's the rough part of town, oh We're... man, you're gonna knock everything. I know, over. and I keep trying to move them into the living room. Um. You know, it's it's just like, oh, there we go. yeah, it's, it's the rough part of town. No, this was really the rough part of town. Like, one of our vendor buddies got their car stolen. Yeah. Which, in ten years, this has never happened. 
Yeah, like, they, uh, they said they walked outside and their car was not where they had left it. Like, not in the parking lot at all. It took them three days to actually get a hold of the manager of the hotel well enough to, like, go and see the footage of what happened. And they said it was professionals what got the car. Because like, they came in, used a fob. Like, like in three minutes, their the car was vehicle gone. was gone. So, that's outrageous yeah. to me. Because that's... That really seems like, oh, that's the bad part of town. That's what we live in fear of as vendors is getting our money box stolen, breaking down on the way to a convention, getting our vehicle stolen. Like, I mean, these things are debilitating, um, you know, <laughs> things that can happen. Um, hey, Rebecca. And it's just like, God, we've been so lucky that it hasn't happened to us, but for it to have happened to them five hours from home yeah, is just... Man, so we got everybody Christmas presents from their booth. Because I'm like... Well, most, most everybody Christmas presents. Most present. everybody. Well, not like everybody, everybody, but like people who we know that drink out of cups. Um, or you could just tell well, everybody what their <laughs> Never mind. Christmas presents is. Nobody who's getting Christmas presents from us watches our live streams anyways. Oh, except for like, you know, the six people that do. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, we're really glad to be safe and home, Lori. Um, and it's just, man. So let me scroll through here. Let me get some... Let's see if any of those people are on and watch it. Well, no, not just that. But there were some questions. Um, give Randy big hugs. I know, right? And I've been so cranky, you guys. He, he can verify. Can confirm. Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. He's supposed to be like, no, honey, you're so uh, nice. No, baby, it's just nice. Look at him lying. Mm -hmm. no. <laughs> um, what tools and supplies do you bring to cons to make adjustments to your products? Um, That's very funny because we were supposed to do a video. I was going to shoot a video called The Essentials of Wire Wrapping. Um, never leave home without. The stuff I never leave home without, I left them at home. <laughs> So we couldn't shoot the video. Yeah, um, but usually wire snips, uh, bent nose, flat nose, round nose, pliers, a ring mandrel. Um, like, I have this whole drawer that I bring. Like, one drawer of all of my wire, one drawer of some, like, backup beads and some miscellaneous tools, and then one drawer of um, more wire and pliers oh. and stuff. So That happened. For as much as you guys pay to go to those shows, I think they would have more security for you all. Well, that's and the thing. I'll have is a better part of town to stay in. Just wow. We well, didn't stay like the. Uh, well, we didn't. Yeah, either. It, it was going to be like a hundred and twenty bucks a night for the convention hotel, and it's like so. Folks who stayed at the convention hotel typically con security and hotel security is great, but you know we try to keep our overhead as low as possible. So a lot of us stay at cheap external hotels or motels. Um, and take risks where we do, but it's not like most vendors aren't driving in in our Lamborghinis, you know, of these like high profile cars that you would think, oh, that's a car that's going to get stolen. It's like, no, we're all there in our junker, you know, 200,000 mile vans and SUVs like that we all dinged up and stuff because it's like, it doesn't got to be pretty, it just has to drive. <laughs> no, not our stuff. No, not our stuff. Horror. It's one of our friends. Um. Nothing done. Hey, Karen. Happy Turkey Day. I'm glad you guys made it back safe. I made it when you guys are streaming yellow. Hugs with you. Right on. Melissa, the trip was pretty good. <laughs> She's being cranky is okay, Vaughn. We need, we need that now and then. Gives her a big hug. Oh, thank you. Well, it's a lot of it, too. Is we had to go and do our errands, and I hate being an adult. Like... Everybody who's like a mom or a dad and goes out and gets groceries and your kid, your grateful child gets to stay at home and do whatever they want. I miss being a child. <laughs> like getting to stay at home and do whatever I want. But we went and did adult stuff. We did. And it was gross and we spent money and I hate doing that. Um, but we have groceries now. We've got like trash bags and toilet paper because um, we're home like for the winter. Um, yeah. Kristen says, how did you start your chain mail? And I'm thinking about getting books or what do you suggest? I highly suggest going to mailartisans.org. They have a wonderful database of just about every weave on the planet. I would save your money and as opposed to getting books, I would get pliers and materials and just start weaving. 
Impor Z has hot spots. So if you hear a bunch Goodness. of weird um, huffle snuffling. Oh, poor Sheila. No crafting in my future, so I live vicariously through you. Do you make many adjustments to your products at these conventions? Um, we typically do. Sparkies, uh, we've found some, some tricks and tips that um, we've started to do to our jewelry to make it with uh, as adjustable as possible without modification. A lot of the times we'll make our bracelet to like maybe seven inches and then put like an inch and a half of adjuster chain there on the end. That way they can hook wherever they want on the chain um, and it'll fit. Because some people, they might have a very petite wrist, but they like loose bracelets. Or they might have, you know, a, like an eight and a half to nine inch wrist, but they want it really snug because they're like, I don't want it moving around on me. Um, or it might not even be for them at all and they won't know what size to make it. Um, so we found that doing that little bit of adjuster chain, it again, keeps our overhead down, makes it very adjustable, but we do have our pliers there just in case they want, like, sometimes people will want um, our bracelets turned into ankle anklets, um, in which case we continue on the design, but that's just chain mail. If it's something where it's like beaded or a wire wrapping piece, they kind of get stuck with extender chain. Um, seen some of your pliers. What did you use to make them more chunkier? Um, I used TerraFlex. It's a thermoplastic that I just like wrap around the handles. Is it okay that I'm sitting over here? You yeah, this is fine. Okay, because I really missed you today. Like we had to go out and like in public. Ugh. <laughs> um, I finally made it to Tandy Leather, says Carol. I went to buy, <laughs> to buy cat, but don't know which kit to get for doing that. Either you can help me with that. I'm not sure what you mean by buy cat, Carol. <laughs> Maybe, I think your autocorrect might be betraying you. Scrolling through. Missed you guys. Glad you're safe. Thank you guys. I was having fun with Charles. <laughs> oh my god, guess what? Went to Michael's and did the happy dance because I got the bezel bracelets for two ninety nine each. Yeah, when you there got those 50% off coupons, it's awesome. And I'm, I'm starting to stockpile the um michael's bangle bracelets and i am keeping it anytime an, we can yeah. anytime we can we buy out the whole stock of what they have in the store but i'm waiting for them to go on sale again so i could purchase like a huge batch of them off of um online, online so that i can ship them to some of y'all who are international <laughs> because you're like we don't have a michael's i need those bracelet bases i'm also going to be showing you guys how to make your own leather base which gives it a lot more room for um adjustability what is your PayPal address so I can finally send you money? You can send, if you want to send us money, you can send it to backtoearthcreations at yahoo.com. Um, so, but you don't have to send me money. Um, what oh, would you man. say is needed to start an online store? Oh, that makes um, me mad. A couple of pictures of your product. What makes you mad, honey? Your video game? Yep. I'm sorry. No, the guy who well, left he... immediately finally came back. 15 seconds before we could really surrender. Oh. So, yeah, we've been getting destroyed 4v5. Well, yeah, he's camping mana. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry, video game stuff. Um, what would you say is needed to start an online awesome. store? Yeah. Um, if it's like an Etsy or even like a Weebly, um, an Etsy is pretty straightforward. You can have one thing up and just like have a picture of yourself, a little bio about your store, um, about you as an artisan, and then like, you know, uh, some pictures of your product and just post them up for sale. But if you have like a Weebly or a Squarespace, I do recommend um, a homepage, maybe with a little bit of a blog on it, pictures of your most frequent work, and then a store page where people can go and just specifically shop. Um, and it's just, I don't know, I recommend checking out some other people's websites uh, and Etsy pages, like people who do maybe similar products or have success that you would like to emulate and um, and kind of go through and, you know, pick and choose, find what works for you. And also, once you make a website, like your Etsy page, you can go in and change your bio 10 times a day, you know, until you figure out what's best for you, like, if that makes sense. My wife got a condo in Booking.com on a BOGO deal, and any booking over two nights up to eight days total was 150 bucks for four days. What? That's kind of cool. That's awesome, Michael. <laughs> then a hurricane came through. Everything was fine until <laughs> the fire life. <laughs> Everything was fine until the Fire Nation came. What do you think of the chainmail kits 
like the bracelets and necklaces, I think I'm going to get some. I think those are a perfect place to start. Gives you an idea, lets you get your hands dirty, get, get you know, some plier action going. Um, it can help you experiment with different colors and with different um, maybe ring sizes too because some of these weaves can take up to like, you know, five or six different ring sizes. And that way you can get just enough of each uh, ring size. And then sometimes you'll have a little bit left over um, and then you can experiment with using that in different things and see what ring sizes you work most with. And then uh, you can order more of that ring size. Because there was years ago, I still have it actually, Randy had gotten me the Tandy, uh, not Tandy leather, um, the Ring Lord chainmail kit. And um, there were ring sizes in that that I still have not used up. And that was like... 10 years ago? 10 years ago. God, I love being right next to you, honey. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry I was cranky today. Mm -hmm, okay. Like all day. I'm not cranky anymore though. Do you still like me? Yeah. I like you too. That's good. I'm not gonna cry. <laughs> okay. Um, was in a gated community too. Wow, right on. <coughs> oh, I went to buy a Tandy leather kit, but I don't know which one. Um, I think I would recommend one of the wallet kits or one of the ones that has like the key fobs look for something that has the tools the leather and the stain in it and then whenever you get it trace out the leather pieces first on like a piece of paper because then you can use that same template for you know you can buy more leather you have the same tools you might have some dye left over but you'll be able to remake that same thing and kind of get a little bit more experience Hmm. Yvonne, if we have mail or something to send you, where do we send it? Um, if, mark mail. <laughs> if you type exclamation point N A I L, it'll give you my PO box through Nightbot. Thank you, Nightbot. Um, Vaughn, have you ever used Helmar Crystal Coat Matte Spray on polymer clay? No, I'll have to check that out. Is it like Pim? Oh no, <laughs> Melissa says YouTube notifications not working again. Glad I caught you on accident. Well, it's good to see you, Melissa. Sorry, I'm super behind on comments too, by the way, you guys. Um, Amanda says, Yvonne, my significant other does the same while playing video games. And I'm like, what happened? Life of a gamer go over. I know because I'm over here and I'm like, are you okay? And he's like, no, I'm not okay. This happened. And I'm like, oh, imaginary Why people. Why don't you here. leave? <laughs> oh my God. You've got no help. Look at how adorable he is when he's ah! mad, you guys. He's like, I'm not mad. I'm like, you would punch them in the throat, give them I the opportunity. I would. I would so throat punch <laughs> I these would guys. fart in their air. Um, <laughs> hey, Jennifer. <laughs> Vegans on Thrones says, hi, hey, y'all. You look pretty today. Eyeliner looks awesome. Well, thank you. I'm trying to get faster at putting on false lashes because whenever we're in the hotel rooms and I'm trying to get, like, my costume on, it takes, like, an hour and a half to do my makeup, like, the full face paint and everything. And so I'm trying to find, um, like get faster at it really which I think practice is just gonna be the only thing for that um on talking about chain mail can you do the circle glass cabs or just the ovals you can do circle you can do oval you can do triangle so you can do anything oh, yeah. that has a consistent you could do an octagon but Thank you me. can't do a pac-man because like that anything that had where the perimeter of it indents the chain mail won't hug that. It needs to be, it's like putting a rubber band around something. There's going to be little gaps between. You want to know the score? Like if it's like, what's the score? You ready for this? No, but you're going to tell me anyway. We did a grand total of two kills. That's bad. They did a grand total of 22 kills. Hey, look, you guys died 22 times. What a coincidence. What a coincidence. Amazing. <laughs> Sorry. Um, what game does Randy play? That's I've played, teamwork. That's teamwork. Um, I've played WoW since 2004, <sighs> and I play several other games as well. I was just curious. Christina, Randy is oh, playing that is, Smite. That is absolutely terrible. And he's miserable. I think he needs to play a different game. Yes. Yes, I agree. This so, is exactly why I haven't been putting out content. Yeah, he stopped putting out videos because Smite sucks. Oh, so bad. So bad. But look at his little face, though. He's so cute. My blood pressure goes up. It's just a good time. It's like, this isn't worth getting gray hair over, honey. Mm. Randy's like, Psh, I wish I'd get gray hair. I just keep going bald. <laughs> I just, 
Um, Actually, before I go... Sparky oh. says, Vaughn, I got five sixteenth jump rings from Chainmail Joe, and they seem a little dull. Is it just me, or am I getting the wrong rings? I'm looking for really shiny rings in the five sixteenth size. Let's what do you again. suggest? You don't have to play this game, honey. You could literally go play anything else in the whole wide world. Mm -hmm. But I need to do some stuff on here. Okay. <laughs> um, I would look for bright aluminum. Also, you can weave your pieces from Chainmail Joe and then put it through a rotary tumbler with some stainless stainless steel shot and sunshine burnishing compound from Harbor or not Harbor Freight, uh, Rio Grande, and it'll brighten them right up. Um, Hobby has a kit for forty nine, and if you go to Hobby Lobby and you can use their forty percent off coupons. So and it's like the I can't remember the brand of what they have at Hobby Lobby. Very comparable tools, though, to what you would get at Tandy Leather. Rachel says, hey, Vaughn and Randy, how was your show and how you doing? Um, we did okay. We did okay. We, we went in with a pretty low expectation, but I will always do Memphis Comic and Fantasy Con if I can help it because we love the organizer and we think he has a really cool vision for what he wants to do with the convention community and stuff. It's just, it's been a hard couple of years for conventions, so we don't really do well at conventions anymore the way that we used to. I think that's a pretty fair uh, mm -hmm. statement. You gonna buy Legion and download it? I'm thinking about it. Do it. I'm like, are they doing a Black Friday sale? Because yeah. if they're doing a Black Friday sale... <laughs> like... River says, Vaughn, I want to make you a hat. Make it big, because I have a giant head. She does. It's like, like water baby huge. It's scary. Um, so didn't you get something in the mail? I did get something in the mail. Totally off topic, but has anyone ever pronounced your name Yvonne? Yeah. <laughs> All the time. All the time. We get Yvonne, 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 you know, Yvonne, um, all kinds of stuff. Bad Randy. What are you making this time, Vaughn? Bad Randy. I don't know. I just, <laughs> well, it's, I'm so far behind on uh, messages. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Bo, 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 bo. Okay, let me know how the uh, Helmar goes, Lori. Sorry, I'm having to. <laughs> Uh, what are you doing in this stream, Yvonne? I don't know. <laughs> listening to me complain. Listening to Randy complain about his game. Hey, Azmuth. Azmuth, come back. My house is dirty again. <laughs> Speaking of, actually, uh, when is Azmuth going to finish moving? Okay, in? I'm all caught up, I think. Maybe? Yeah, I'm all caught up. Excellent. Okay, oh Julie says, God. you look beautiful today. Not that you aren't always adorable, but today, absolutely gorgeous. Well, thank you. I'm learning how to use war paint to accentuate my natural features. Or something. Um, <laughs> Mist says, hello, Yvonne and Randy. This is the last convention before Christmas. It will be great for you two to just yep. cuddle up in the house now for a bit. Been so busy. Right? Um, this is, we've got one more local craft show at the Grace Episcopal Church here in Carthage. Uh, it's the Old Worldy Market. <laughs> but Old World Market. Um, it's, you have to buy tickets to get there for Friday. But for uh, Saturday, it's free to everybody. Um... <laughs> Cupcake says, I'm really offended that YouTube didn't notify me on the stream. Usually it does. Fun. I did get the bright aluminum, but I don't have a tumbler. Any suggestions for a tumbler? I highly recommend the Rotary Tumble from Harbor Freight. Um, actually, this is the kind of thing I can Google and send you links because I have technology. Bye, Randy. I love you. I miss you. Bye. Bye, -bye. You still like me and stuff? Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm so insecure. I'm sorry. Guys. Like, we've only been together for, it'll be 13 years in February, and I'm like, you like me, right? Like, <laughs> like you like me, like It's like, you like, like me? I'm also just mostly insane, too, I guess. It's cold. Um, but yeah, I'm going to type up a link for you real quick. Also, I gotta tell you guys something about, uh, stop yelling at you. Shut up, baby, I'm trying to sing. Yeah. Okay, please stop yelling at your game, though. Fine. It's stressing me out, because I am concerned for you. <laughs> uh, okay, we're going to be... And I can't really tell you a lot, because it's top secret. Oh, are you talking about the... the Mitch thing? Faust? Hey, you, 
You're dropping too much. Am I? Yes. <laughs> well, I I put a link. We were contacted to do some things in Memphis. It's too late, Randy. I already put a link to it down in my video oh description. Oh my goodness, you're joking. Everybody should go and check out well, in the video description whenever below. Whenever somebody asks us, hey, I want you to promote this, but hold off a little bit. <laughs> well, can you let me finish? Because I'm not giving away anything you except it's too for, late. except for, gosh, just argue with me. No. <laughs> Um, we're collaborating with the very talented Mitch Faust and on a top others. secret project and some other folks, but if I give away other info, then they'll know. Like, You're really bad at this. but check out, um, Mitch Faust's page on Facebook. It's down in the video description and follow him because there's going to be some stuff and he's going to be leaking some of it and we're going to be leaking some of it, but we can't tell you anything else because it's top secret. Um, but it's going to be amazing. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's all I can tell you. That's all you can say. That's all I can say. We can Great. announce that the full product should release in April. Yeah. The end result will be in April. You'll see it and it's going to be so cool and I can't wait. Okay. Tumblr. Da, na, 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 we'll na, 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 na. Stuff then, but yeah, follow us product. on Patreon, us and Mitch Faust, because you don't have to be a pledger. Just follow us. Just have a Patreon account and follow us, and you'll get like little clippets and leaks and stuff of what's going on. Hey, Daniel. Hey, Anne. <laughs> I am finding the Tumblr, and then I'm going to share a link to it. And I'm actually going to be putting the link to the Tumblr down in the video description. That way, people who are watching this in the future, when it's no longer live, um, can be like, hey, I need a Tumblr. Rotary Tumblr. 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 I did miss you guys. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. Hey, Randy. Hey, Bob. I really like you. That's good. I like you. He likes me, too. You're pretty cool. Really? You're a um, of a kind. <laughs> Okay, now you're just quoting stuff from the internet. Hey, hey, uh, Daniel, go ram it. Um, <laughs> Asmuth says he's moving in the first week of December. First week, okay. There you go, Asmuth. Um, uh, Memphis was pretty good. We got to catch up with a lot of friends. It's kind of like getting to visit everybody for the holidays, but we can't retire or, like, we didn't make a whole lot of money there. We did better than at Kansas City, though. So that's, that's a thing. Uh, I stumbled across one of your videos and fell in love. I've spent hours watching your videos. Thank you for what you do. Well, thank you, Alana. I'm really glad you like what we're doing here because sometimes it's just a mess. Um, <laughs> hey, Bast. Oh, I know. I was gone for two days. Two whole days. Okay, right. Rotary Tumblr. This is the kind that... I oh, that's way more expensive than what I paid like 20 years ago. But it was totally worth it, and honestly, I would pay that again. I really like this one. I am putting a link down in the video description any second now. I'll update you when it's there. For anybody watching this in the future, it's probably already there, but... Nah, nah, nah. Don't be making promises. From the future! It should be updating. Um, the Ring Lord also has a few great tumblers depending on what you are trying to do. That's true, but with it being, the tumblers are pretty large, um, so sometimes you're gonna pay quite a bit for uh, shipping. Poor Z Dog. He's got all kinds of hot spots and stuff. Like, really we gave him, we went and got fresh pills today for the dogs. Um, is it? It is to make the jump ring shiny and take off rough edges. They are also used to yes. smooth rocks and gems. Awesome. Also, I'm going to make another link for you guys to uh, Sunsheen Burnishing Compound. And Rio Grande. I don't know, you might be able to find it on Amazon. Everything's on Amazon. Because yeah. everybody that I shop from has a... Uh, oh, and this is such a... Such a much better price, too, for basically the same product. But yeah, okay, so today... I already showed you guys. These are the last three painted faces for sale up on our Etsy. Um, wait, what's wrong, Asmuth? What's wrong with Asmuth? 
As was, what's wrong with you? Hitting up the doctor at 3.30, so it'll be fine. Ah! Oh no, their Harbor Freight closed. I would have caught some serious uh, closing sales, though. You would have, or? I would have tried Wait, to. did their Harbor Freight actually close? Yeah, ours just pretends like it's closing all the time. Basically, yes. It's real good at pretending. Burnishing compound. Save changes. Okay, that's enough computer crap. Um, going on two weeks for me is what? Wait, oh, okay, I missed some stuff. I feel lousy the last couple of days. Is that nice? Yeah. Amanda says, Yvonne, are you still going to do a henna hair tutorial in the future? Yeah, I really need to. It's like, I don't know, I'm thinking about letting it just go back to its natural brown, but I'm super sun bleached out, like, right here on my temples. And I was looking at some pictures of me from, like, four years ago, and I was like, oh, hairline, I remember when you were lower down. <laughs> so... I remember when you were a thing. <laughs> hey, Valerie. Um, okay, everyone to my house for special get well soup, right? Erin says, Vaughn, have you ever gone to a gem show to stock up? I recently went to the Portland show, but I found the prices somewhat iffy. Yeah, some of them, it depends, like, quite a bit, um, because some of them are charging an arm and a leg for stuff that, honestly, you could go to, uh, eBay and purchase directly from... I hesitate to call them the manufacturers, but from the mines themselves, because like a lot of stuff, uh, like there aren't necessarily a lot of gemstones that are mined here in the U.S. So a lot of it is stuff that's been imported. So why not go directly to China or India where these, you know, the mines are, the lapidary facilities are, and just purchase directly from them because that's what these, uh, a lot of the vendors are doing is they buy in bulk and then they're reselling. So as a crafter, um, whenever you're trying to have a good low overhead, uh, it can sometimes not be very lucrative to purchase directly from the shows. But you do have the uh, plus side of being able to actually get your hands on what you're buying and look at it and pick and choose. Because sometimes with some uh, labradorite pieces, I've been kind of disappointed with uh, <laughs> what we get from ordering online, but getting to pick them in person is like, you can make sure it's exactly what you're looking for. Same thing with Tiger's Eye and stuff, but um, you'll get better at shopping online. Um, bulk dealers, yeah. Mm. This stuff's yummy. Has anybody ever eaten this? Dude, baby. What? Serious, okay? What? I'm gonna get a tattoo. I? Uh... It's gonna say V-E-G. Veg? I'm the greatest. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't do that. Yeah, that's a pretty poor life decision. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Are you going to have that right next to your face tattoo that says YOLO? Yes. Yep. Mm. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys some stuff real quick. I'm going to try to match this. Boop. Yeah, that's going to work. Okay. I haven't had that flavor, but those are good. Well, see, I'm allergic to mango peels, but I love the mango. The inside mango is my favorite fruit, I think. <laughs> oh, did it? <laughs> I'm not really good at filtering what's happening up top here. Um, <laughs> they just, uh, whenever you were saying what kind of tattoo you wanted to get, because Randy's like, he's never going to get a tattoo. Like, he's like, they're not... They're not for him. Like, that's just his thing. Um, so I'm like, you're going to get a tattoo? Who are you and what did you do with Randy? I'm the greatest. I'm the greatest, he says. You are, honey. But you don't need a tattoo to prove it. Um, also, I found where I've been hoarding bobby pins. <laughs> um, by the way, Randy, if you want to play Legion, just download the game right now and let it patch. Then Monday or Friday or whatever, get the game access code. That's a really smart decision. That is a smart decision. That's what I sent you, Vaughn. Some big gemstones for my collection. Disappointed you haven't gotten the parcel. Oh, Kaz, that's very generous of you. Ooh, I want to... Oh, and should I go and bother my post office? Like, do you have a tracking number where I could be like, Hey, Marika, where's my package? <laughs> I don't know if that's a thing. The patch is already up to date right now, he says. Randy, I can see paying someone to stab me a gazillion times with a needle. Or I can't see. 
right? He let me do some henna on him. For those of y'all who follow us on Instagram, we did like some couples henna. Or it didn't match at all, but it was nice. It was fun to get to sit and hang out with Randy. Like it's very strange to think about for as much as Randy and I like are actually together. Uh, we don't hang out with each other very much. I want to pickle Rick Tat because I'm a basic meme baby. Oh. Yes, you are, Asmith. You're just horribly basic. Pickle Rick. I got a whole jar of pickle Ricks in the kitchen. I'm going to put googly eyes on them. I swear I would never get a tattoo, but got a steampunk fairy. Midlife crisis. Husband got one too. Right on. <laughs> okay, so... Y'all wanted to know what materials I take with me to conventions. Double checking to make sure. Yep, we're still, we're charging. Um, you can see this drawer here. I've been home for like 20 minutes and it's got crap piled on top of it already. Um, I don't recommend these drawers because I put too much heavy stuff in them and they break really quickly. Um, but it still, it does the job. You can see I've got a whole drawer here of... Para wire. Mm, so good. Um, so good. So good. And then my pliers are just randomly stuck in there, along with some ear wraps and some business cards. More pliers. I need a marker. That's cool. I didn't know I had that. A hair tie. <laughs> Sorry. Um. <laughs> so there's that one. I'm actually gonna just stack some stuff right here. That looks like a good spot to. I'll never change. And then here's more wire. This is actually, these little inserts, one of my favorite ways to uh, store wire because then I'll have like, oh, this is my 26 gauge column. And then I can fit three of them in here. Um, but you can see a lot of my square and half round wire. Zip ties. Hey, more pliers. Uh, safety pins. Clasps. Essential oil from when I start to smell funny in the booth because um, it's smaller than a bar of deodorant and looks less like people see it and they're like, oh, lavender oil. Not like, hey, that's for when you smell bad. Pops is the train. Ring mandrels. We have a metal one and a plastic one. And also, please keep in mind, guys, I'm horribly inefficient and disorganized. So you can probably do way better. And then this is my little container of spare beads and cabs that it's enough that I can't make everything that I want to at the shows but it's enough that I can sit and get some product made um all of our broken stuff and then I wear this at all the shows Kaz so I keep it in here um tape measure for taking people's measurements bag uh mini mjolnir some lighters some eyelash glue um metal mandrel Gosh, I found all of, you know how I can never find a marker, Randy? Yeah. I just found like five. What? Um, but yeah, some just, right? <laughs> some tags, another lighter, a nail file for whenever metal needs filed down or when my Chinese fighting toes um, get out of hand. The Chinese fighting toes. Don't judge me, Randy. A darning needle. Oh, my favorite earrings. I found them. Oh, Lord, I need to get a handle on my life. Oh, I found these pliers. God, guys, this is embarrassing. <laughs> it's like, I was rummaging through my purse the other day, and um, I concluded I'm not good at being an adult because what was in my purse, like, I had one thing that was, like, like my wallet that has, like, all of my, like adult stuff in it like my money and my ID and like different things and then I also had a giant jar of white cheddar powder um a bunch of old milk duds uh, <laughs> some Hershey kisses um bungee cords finger zills for when I'm belly dancing out on the road um <laughs> like what <laughs> uh like a bunch of tampons and like <laughs> uh spirit gum prosthetic horns tampons are essential um but it's just it was like holy crap Vaughn you're not good at this <laughs> like what else was in there there were a couple of things that were like oh a shaky egg that had a little silly face um drawn on it <laughs> that I drew on it <laughs> 
Um, yeah, so I give up. <laughs> Keep the spark, drop becoming adult. That's fair. But yeah, so very similar situation with my travel stuff. And then I had a whole nother set of drawers that we had all of our chainmail stuff in. Um, but we were able to streamline it. Um, shows lately, the way that they've been, um, when, in the few times that people want something custom or something modified, we just scavenge off of other bracelets. And so that just kind of works out. Hey, Ember Cat. Whose face is all covered in water. You little aquaholic. Show the chainmail, please. Okay. That is the next drawer over. Buried under a larger pile of crap. Um, <laughs> let me pin my hair up real quick. When the heater's on in the winter, my hair gets so frizzy so fast. And so I try to put like this hair oil in it. So then it just becomes this frizzy oil mess. Sorry, trying to get this disaster under control. <laughs> Brown suits you want. Thank you. It's just little Walmart shirts. But it's just enough that whenever I get cold, it keeps the wind off. So coconut oil is better for hair. I'll keep that in mind, Melissa. Okay, um, so for the chainmail one. I played Bacchus. And y'all won? Oh, we destroyed the... Oh, good. I don't know why you play anything else. Because I need to to do the stupid quests. Right. Um, this is some of the chainmail stuff. Can't realize any profit, right? Does it say what it absorbs overnight? Okay. Um, some glowy rings. Uh, well, I eat tons of draft beer and mayonnaise, and my hair is just fine, so I believe that, Mikio. <laughs> Um, but we have just canisters. I really like these ones because I can have the same metal type but in different sizes and gauges. I really like these ones because often you don't need a whole canister. Crystal light containers, by the way, you guys. To the entire other team of all, report this guy, report that guy, report And I'm like, oh, oh, report me, report me. Report me, I want reported. Yeah, yeah. Turn me into the authorities. Mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> go. And then I really like these ones for these little bead storage containers. Hey, Melissa asks, how was Memphis? We had a really good time. We were able to help out a friend in need who uh, their vehicle was stolen. And it had, fortunately, it didn't have any of their product in it. Um, it just had their totes and, you know, was their car for getting home. And they lived like five or six hours away um, from Memphis. And so we gave them a couple of our totes because we're like, we have a van. We can just throw crap in. We can go to Walmart and get more. You're kind of stuck here. So let's just help them get their stuff out. And then we bought a bunch of their inventory. Like we did like the bulk of our Christmas shopping at their booth because I was like, they edited their thing. What does that mean? Well, before it was kill the fire giant as a team, and I'm like, there's only one thing that's conquest. Right. I'm never going to do and that. And they changed it? They did. So now you can do it now? I can. Nice. Um, But I was thinking about it, and I was like, if Randy and I got our vehicle stolen, short of getting like either our vehicle back unharmed or being like, here's a new car, um, how can somebody help us? Um, And I was like, by basically throwing money at the problem um, in moral support. Uh, and so I was like, well, here's some moral support uh, and here's a bunch of money. So we got all of our Christmas shopping for the most part out of the way. Um, and then uh, the totes really helped. Like her mom was, she cried a bit in our booth. Like she had like tears and I was like, no, it's okay. Like this is really, I'd rather y'all get this money than like Walmart buying bathroom kits, you know. Oh, if we ever found out that your vehicle was stolen, I could see a lot of us in this chat flying to help. And and I trust you guys would, but I would never I would never ask and put myself out there, but it's like hopefully no one will level steal my car cuz I think I'd go just rage farting. Um what's Asmith saying? Guys just use normal shampoo, Lemo. It's not rocket science. <laughs> Shut up, Asmith. Let me put all of everything in my fridge in my hair. I make my own shampoo with organic coconut milk, coconut oil, and castile soap. Ooh, and essential oils. Love it. My hair is in much better shape. If you if you can't, I'll give you the... Or if you want, I will give you the recipe. Maybe. I might eat it, though. 
<laughs> I'm actually pretty hair with my current pretty happy with my current hair regimen. No, um I just pretty I'm pretty, pretty hair. hair I just need to not st I need to stop gluing my horns on because that's you can see all these little baby hairs are from where they're growing back because I kept ripping my hair out every time I did my costume. So we'll figure that out. Um and then the last drawer for chain mail is actually mostly empty because I've been giving away all of my chain mail um, in the Patreon kits because they still, the Ring Lord has still not restocked their 18 gauge, um, 20 pound spool of wire. And I'm like, come on guys, I need to order this so I can coil rings. But the last batch that I ordered from them was like dead soft. And normally I don't make rings out of the dead soft. Um, and, uh, and it came out horribly. So I had to return money on a lot of the rings that we had sold. And so I'm like, I think I'm going to have to find a new supplier, but yeah, I mean, it's been, it's been months. months, like two, almost three months since they last had that in stock. And I'm like, come on guys. They it's not like I'm relying on you. Dragon, did they? Hmm? they didn't have it in stock for dragon. Did they? Yeah. That was back in August. It's almost been four months. Um, <clears throat> so we're going to have to find a different supplier for that. Have you ever thought about emailing the Ring Lord and telling them that you need it? I'm signed up for, uh, re like, let me know when it's free stock, but it's like me kind of, for lack of a better term, like pestering them. It's like, I'm not, they, they are the center of their universe. Everyone is the center of their own universe. My problems, I feel like, are not big enough for me to impede on their little universe bubble. I'm like, when they get it in stock, they'll get it in stock. Me nagging them isn't going to make it happen any faster. Um, and I'm sure that there's hundreds of other artists and consumers. Um, oh God, Azmuth, I'll go down to Ring Lord HQ and summon a Balrog. I believe you would, but I think that'd be counterproductive. I actually think I'm going to request, um, a couple of aluminum samples from Parawire and get some of their, see if I can't order some bulk spools from them. They've been really cool about treating me like an individual and you know not just you're just another you know uh just another customer you know they treated me like I was important and it's like I think they treat each of their customers like they are important not just okay shut up and give me your money okay you got your sh now go away and it's like I really like that um Anastasia asks can someone explain to me what dead soft is sorry for my ignorance okay so whenever you take wire Something like this. This is 18 gauge dead soft copper core from um, Parawire. And you can see how easily it bends around and it stays put where it's shaped to. Um, and then it kind of comes back out. These are characteristics of dead soft. It's wire that made out of the metal. It's as soft as it's going to get. Everything that you do to it will work hard in it. Whether it's just running it through your fingers like this. This will make it a little bit stiffer. Um, and then the only way that I know of making the wire soft again is to anneal it, which is like heating it up with either a torch or a kiln, but you can't really do with the enameled stuff. Um, so I usually always start with dead soft with my wire wrapping. Um, but with the aluminum, I usually make my rings out of at least half hard um, because it gives a nice stiff ring. It's not gonna bend out of shape very easily because you saw how easily I bent that back out of shape. You know, and so it's, it really takes a lot of effort to kind of work hard in this stuff. But you can, you can hammer it. Um, you can run it through nylon jaw pliers, all sorts of stuff to, uh, to work hard in it. Um, at least that's my understanding of it. I am not a metallurgic expert. I just, if you take the wire and go like this a whole bunch with your pliers, it'll get stiffer. <laughs> so, but yeah, Aaron, Aaron's totally right. He said, questions are always good. While you may not know, others may not know until you ask. That's very fair. Lee says, hey, Yvonne and Randy and everyone. Hey, Lee. How's the rearrange of the craft room going? Well, we got most of it rearranged. That's our living room, I was like, Wait, which is looking a lot better. The craft room again? No, and you can see we rearranged it, but I messed it up again. So it's well, uh, <laughs> it was uh, a good effort, but the extra room still has not been cleared out yet. It's just getting people's schedules lined up. So actually what we think we're going to do is convert the living room slash music room into just more craft room space but we just got to figure out how to get a couch upstairs into randy's studio because i'm like i miss sitting on the couch and watching tv with them 
you know, because that's like we like to watch shows together and just getting some cuddle time in. Um, but we don't even have a TV in the living room anymore. <laughs> um, right on. Fuzzy says, wow, looks good. My room stayed clean of clutter for about five minutes. I can keep a room clean to if honest, I stay out of it. Yeah, we've been home for about five minutes. This is only clean-ish because you can see there's a table with some stuff on it. Dogs throw in the decorative pillows on the floor. Like, every surface just gets crap on it. Dude, Z, chill, man. Stop kicking yourself, honey. Stop kicking Quit hitting yourself. yourself. Quit hitting yourself. But, no, he could not. <laughs> Um, there are no dumb questions. Some of us prefer easy questions so we don't have to think too much. That's fair. Um, the only way to stay away from the crafts, right? But it's, and that's, we can keep a room clean if I just stay out of it. Um, <laughs> so there's that. But I did want to show you guys some different stuff. This was just a piece of scrap wire. Is Azmuth still there? No, Azmuth isn't at home, or isn't here right now. He's at his house. But he'll be moving in the first week of December, he said. So I'm going to straighten the scrap wire back out. I just wanted to show you guys some little demonstrations of things that you can do whenever you only have a couple of inches of wire. So no extra pups right now, for sure. Which I don't know what Z's... I don't know if maybe... Like, we gave him his flea pill. I mean, it's got to... Yeah, it, gotta... Hopefully he'll be better by tomorrow. Because yeah. he's he's got some hot spots and some fresh hot spots. But this one is 18 gauge, it's six inches long. I save this stuff all the time. I'm just gonna make a quick little uh, ear cuff out of it. Just bending it, boop, like that. Ooh, I like these brown shirts because they make a really nice backdrop. <laughs> Canvas. Um, Zeke, what you on your bone, honey? We got them bones, stuff like yeah, we got them little treat bones to chew on. Dude, dude, dude. Oh, I, <laughs> typical me going off camera. Um, <laughs> but yeah, and so I just spiral the little ends around. And you know, it's a piece of wire that you can't do a huge project with, but you can make just a little something. Um, and now I'm just going to take these little ends and bend them up and around. And flatten it. And this could be an adjustable toe ring. There's the notification an hour late, really. River says, do you like mini top hats? If you do, would it be okay if I made you a steampunk one? And what colors would you want it to be? Um, ooh, I don't know. I like earthy, like, greens and coppers. I like purples. I like all sorts of stuff. But I could do, like, a little off-to-the-side little steampunk hat. I've always admired other people's stuff like that, but have never... Uh, purchased one or worn one so that would be pretty cool I think might have to build a, uh, a costume around it <laughs> Brun asks hello Yvonne do you use normal or gel nail polish for your dragon eyes I'd like to try thank you Mandy um I use just regular uh polish because I don't want to have to use a special light to get it to cure um ooh, orange I don't know if I do orange velvet I don't wear orange as well except for coppery hair like, it just, um, the lighting that I'm usually under doesn't work out too great. Um, <laughs> but, uh, you, you can use gel polish. Just keep in mind to have the lights. And I don't know how well it bakes for if you're going to be using it in, um, polymer clay. So, yeah, that's just a little scrap wire. It's not scrap, but second use. Indigo blue would look pretty cool. It's, I don't know. I trust your artistic discretion. So I also think these make really cute knuckle rings. And I think it looks like a little musical uh, treble clef. But I'm going to wear it on my ear. You just cut your hair not too long ago. So do you have enough henna to dye it or are you waiting? Um, I The henna that I have, I mixed up with lemon juice. And I try to not use the... Um, the lemon juice in my hair, I usually mix it with, like, milk. Um, just something that kind of conditions it. Um. Boop. Just a little ear cuff. I don't know if y'all can see. But, just a quick, quickie. Bajoran ear cuffs. That'd be cool. 
I love that you're a nerd ass myth. We got you your Christmas present, but I can't tell you what it was. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, guys, I got Randy a Christmas present, and it's super top secret, but I can't wait to show it to you guys. Um, but it's going to be amazing. I loved it. Like, to see something that I think both Randy and I will like. Heard some use henna now to wash their hair with. Is that right? I don't know about that. It's Well, you can use it to condition your hair. You can actually use, like, cassia, which is very similar to henna, but doesn't leave, like, a deposit of stain in your in your hair or skin. You can use it. It's a really good hair conditioner. Um, but, uh, I don't know. <laughs> People use all sorts of stuff. For a while there, I washed my hair with a baking soda, and that worked out pretty well. I got Randy's, but I don't know what to get for you yet. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. I wonder if that's what they put in the brunette wash and stuff to build color. I have no idea. Uh, are you into using herbal hair oils? Yes, so much. I love like anything herbaceous. Like I love the smells. They're just they're much cleaner and less. Uh, I don't know. Some of the false fragrance, like the perfumes and stuff, just smell like rubbing alcohol. Um, herbs are good, okay, <laughs> right? <laughs> but yeah, so this was just a little piece of literal scrap wire. You could have thrown it away, and I sell these out of, for like five bucks out of the booth. Bergamo is so good. Um, I really like, uh, genuine rose oil. It's expensive, but it's, all oh, just the smell. Like, I got this the other day, and I'm using it, like, well... <laughs> I was gonna have you guys sniff it. Yeah, pretty. Yeah. It was good though. <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> but it smells really nice. I got it at Michael's. It's um milled soap, just rose petals. And it makes my little corner over here smell like roses. But I really like that genuine, like old world tea rose smell. Um, I really like uh Oh, what's one? Probably lavender and rosemary mixed together is one of my favorite scents. On Randy, I really enjoy patchouli and, um... I really don't. Well, patchouli, orange, and amber resin. Oh, it smells so nice. Like, I mean, just a touch of patchouli, because that stuff is pungent. Sandalwood's really good, really good. Um, but, and you don't like that stuff? You, he wore it for a long time. <laughs> mean like it. He's very sweet to just, you're disgust. No, <laughs> sorry. Asma's like, patchouli is disgusting. I used to not like patchouli, and then I actually grew a, a patchouli plant, and the smell was so much more um, mild and herbaceous. It was much more, like, sagey, if that makes sense. <laughs> But I, I think a lot of the uh, commercially produced patchouli products are there as like as a masking smell and um, kind of, I don't know, it can be abrasive. Da, 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 da. So now I'm going to do some more stuff with scrap wire. So here's a longer piece of that same, ooh, Jackin's blood smells so good. I use it as a binder in a lot of the incenses that I make. Um... Nine inches of wire. Yeah, masking smell for weed. So, but yeah, it's, but you have to make something like super pungent to cover up skunk smell, you know? <laughs> My mother's house always smelled of sandalwood to the point where her belongings and storage still smell that way more than a decade later. It's wonderful. Right on. Yvonne, do you know where I can get steel shot for the tumbler? Harbor Ooh. Freight doesn't carry it. Do I? Let me get a link for you. We got a laptop. We got work to do. <laughs> sorry guys actually not sorry I'm super I'm way cheerier than what I was this morning good lord I was so grumpy this morning I'm sorry Randy mm -hmm. thank you for being patient with me though mm -hmm. do you still like me yeah you sure on occasion wait what do you mean by that <laughs> when you ask a silly question yeah. shit <laughs> <laughs> uh, stainless steel shot. If you show me shot glasses, Amazon. So, shot glasses. Son of a... Okay. Son of a... Son of a Sam dog. 
Now, okay, the stuff that I'm leaking to, link, leak, linking to, um, is, I'm leaking it, Von Leaks, um, is the kind I recommend the most. Um, it's expensive, but it goes a long way. Uh, mm -hmm. Save changes. Um, what was I doing? Okay, it's stainless steel shot, and it's got angles. It's like a cylinder that has angles on it, and it'll get, whenever you do a woven piece of chain mail, it'll get down in between all the little um, nooks and crannies of the woven piece, if you see. Um, but, because my favorite way is to, and you can see this one, this is bright aluminum that's about four years old. Um, so it really needs shined up. It's just been sitting in my scrap bin for like ages. Um, but it'll get in between all the little crevices and everything. Um, but it, I haven't had a problem with it getting stuck in the weave. Ooh, vanilla coffee beans. That's also good. Do, 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 do. Cinnamon and vanilla. <sighs> I'm glad you think we're cute. Cinnamon. Vanilla, cinnamon, lavender. Yeah. Does the aluminum ever discolor? Um, you can see it starts to. Uh, I bet if I rub this a whole bunch, it'll leave a little bit of, little bit of gray right there on my finger. Um, and that's the tumbling. Any alloy is going to oxidize and stuff at least a bit, unless you get it anodized. The anodizing will um, kind of start to rub off. Hey Judy, Nightbot is a robot um, that uh, like posts links for me. It's not a real person, but I still try to be polite to it for when the computers take over. Carol says, Yvonne, Jeff says you could buy steel shots at Big Five Sporting Good. What do you use for the ammo? You can buy it by the pound. Really? Um, with those ones, those. we actually tried that. Most of them are steel that has been plated with zinc, and that zinc, um, messes stuff up. Like, it made everything just, uh, I wouldn't recommend it. If you can get actual unplated, unplated stainless steel shot, um, that would be a, a good thing to do, but a lot of them are steel that's been plated, like with zinc or something, and that just comes right off. Remember that whole batch that we did that was just filth afterwards? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, dingy? D and G. Not sure how to spell it, where it's read right. I did chainmail headdresses years ago using jewelry jump rings, and it used to tarnish after a short time. Didn't know what it was made out of. Right on. You have to be nice to the robots. We all have seen the movies and know how it ends, right? Well, thanks, Carol. I just I try to be helpful. I'm gonna make another ear cuff. This one's still on. It's feeling pretty good. And that's the thing. Um, it kind of just uh, I forget that I have them on <laughs> more often than not. So here we are. And do you guys want a different angle? Because I do want to put some actual content into this video, not just me jabbering. Um. So I'm going to move the camera, different angle, why not Doyle Mist Void, rules. we love Nightbot now. <laughs> oh, Doyle rules, really? I need them up. <laughs> and they forfeit. Him and his video games. My hair is falling down. I need more bobby pants. He's a dog. What? Nuh-uh. He is. Bigger oh. bobby pin. Found it in my, dro in my drawer of holding. Z, you gotta quit being a dog, honey. What are you gonna do with your life? Just be a dog. I'm like, oh yeah. Oh, Doyle rules. <laughs> um, Melissa, we did check the mail today. I've got one little bit of mail. Um, the secret Secret Santa contacted me and was like, you've got a lot more coming, so go check out the PO box. Um, but we checked today and there were no additional keys or anything. It was just a couple of small packages. Um, one of them had been requested to not open online, so there's that. Wait, so the mail you got today is not to be opened online? The one that I opened. Oh. Because you were like, are you seriously just going to open that right now? <laughs> Sorry, moving camera. Did you like Thor? Thor Ragnarok? 
Um, yes, it was amazing. Um, we love mail time. We do like mail time. You can see our video review over on my channel. Over on Randy's channel, you can see our video review that we had done. This is from Linda's Art Spot. What's in there? I don't have, how do I not have scissors over here? Really, Ron? Boy. No, it's got a, yeah, I need scissors. Thank you, Randy. Who saves me from myself every day? Hey, I finally get enough things. I can do a video now. Oh yeah? Ooh, what this? Thank you for shopping at Linda's Art Spot. What's this? What's this? What's this? Do 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 do. What's this? What's this? Do 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 do. Oh. <gasps> Ooh! Ah! Guys, look at the little flutter wings. What is ah! There's a stampy thing. Ooh. I think it's for texturing polymer clay, maybe. We're just stamping flutter wings. Oh, guys. Look at that. Y'all are so generous to send me stuff. Ooh, for just $100. And this is from Linda's Art Spot, Living a Creative Life, a place to buy polymer clay tools and other fun art supplies. Do, do, do. Erin says, Vaughn, two years ago, I was a part of a special project. It was founded to be perfect for convention, so I'm going to shoot you and Randy a few in the hopes that it will help in the fun. Right on. Hey, Shannon. There you go. Oh, Lord. Is there a troll in here? Are y'all trolling the trolls? Be nice to the trolls. Z is very sad. Daniel, come here, baby. He's a dog, mostly, and that's pretty rough. Um, that's pretty rough. Rough. <laughs> yeah, we're dorks. <laughs> okay. Block. Okay. Thank you for trolling the troll, guys. <laughs> if you have a possible new demographic for you to market to, there's a large community of haunters who do a lot of costuming, and your horns and some of the jewelry will probably do well. Right on. <laughs> Randy's channel is Randy Vaughn. Uh, art. Or you could type excitement mark rant like dang it exclamation point randy <laughs> sorry we were uh students of public education so like randy's teacher in elementary school literally taught it excited mark not exclamation point excited mark so we sound so smart excited mark <laughs> the nerd <laughs> but it's it's hard to work with public education. Um, yep. So their Nightbot shows Randy's YouTube channel. You can click on that and go subscribe to him and see all different sorts of um, I got a review videos. Your followers. Yeah. Well, come over here and ask it. When you were in elementary school and you were learning like periods, question marks, all that, was it called an exclamation mark or an excitement mark or exclamation point? Yeah, that's just weird. <laughs> that's funny. I'm calling that from now on. Um, I mean, that's what I was raised. With, the package, Anastasia, was from a secret Santa. Um, it was shipped by a Linda's art spot. But I've been having a very generous exclamation point is what they're saying. Randy. What? Exclamation point. Exclamation point. Yep. That's what I said. That's what everybody's saying. Exclamation point. It's excited, Mark, in the deep south of southern Tennessee. Yeah. <laughs> excited, Mark. That, that's what it is. <laughs> yeah. Uh, people are English major. Exclamation point. No, that's excited. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, it's so hard to sound smart when they teach you to say y'all and you guys's and like all sorts of, what a strange out of context conversation though 30 people just saying exclamation point we're all so excited um deep tennessee well fayetteville which by the locals is pronounced fedville flintville which is flintville <laughs> and then flintville a distant suburb of the said fayetteville that has all of like seven thousand people in it um at least you don't call it stick and period <laughs> yeah, I never did that. <laughs> Exclaims in procrastination, not today. Oh no, you might want to try refreshing, Rachel. Uh, does dog have fleas? He's scratching an awful lot. He is. 
Yeah, he is scratching an awful lot. He's got hot spots. We went through with the flea comb. I didn't find any fleas on him, but we gave him, we went to the uh, vet and got him his fresh batch of flea pills because he's having a fit. Come here, honey. So, I don't know what's up. But hopefully he'll be all better by tomorrow. My feet is slow and I got the comments for the questions. So I was really confused. Right. Uh, we just, we, we got, just got back to the house. So we don't have any coconut oil. But I was thinking about, well, we don't have any Benadryl either. I was thinking about cutting a Benadryl in half and popping him a pill. Hey, honey, careful. He's getting his head stuck on the cord. Now, okay, and y'all are probably going to have, um... Some opinions about this but Randy and I took hydroxy cut because our friend Lauren recommended it she was like yeah I lost like 40 pounds and so we're still definitely exercising and eating within a calorie deficit but we we're like let's try these caffeine herb pills um hey what's dark fury what's the worst that could happen and so we were reading about it it's like well your liver might fall out um and we're like oh, i'll be fine <laughs> so but well honestly it was your liver will probably fall out from sodas mm -hmm. considering the lifestyle we have been leading hydroxy cuts uh negative effects will be the the least of our problems um mercy is like ugh, no <laughs> So, I don't know, we just, we want to try it. And if it keeps up, try treating the dog with tree oil. Right on. Hey, Emo, that we met in SpaCon. <laughs> My baby used to take that, he's fine. Right on. We do, and we're sticking to the meal plan. And we're sticking to our daily walks. We actually, I had lost my pedometer. Somewhere on that table, actually. Uh, still can't find it. Oh no, Marcia ended up in the hospital years ago from hydroxy cut. It's been reformulated. It's been reformulated, they say, but um, it hurt her kidneys. Oh, no. And see, that's with the way that my blood sugar has been and stuff, that's probably doing way more damage. So, but I feel like I'm doing pretty good. I don't know. We figured we'll try it for ourselves. Um, Vicks Vapor Rub on the doggy hot spots. Okay. Samantha, really? so, Sam, we are crafting, and I'm going to go ahead and get this turned around. Boop. Right. Um, look at this beautiful Secret Santa sent me some wangs. Some, wang. some wangs. Which, <laughs> no, not wings, not wangs. Never mind. Um, so what I'm going to do with these, actually, I think, because I'm going to use them on polymer clay. Um, and fill it in with these PBO paints that we had gotten to try to do some really cool effects, I think. <laughs> Always back to that conversation. Just don't eat so much. You don't need a pill. Well, too late, Azimuth. We spent the money and we ate the pill. So we'll see how that goes. Don't tell me what to eat. Don't tell me how to live my life. Mr. Healthy, active person. Just let me spend my money on hyped, stupid things. <laughs> and that's we're following a kind of loose uh, whole food keto style stuff. Your wang's going to shrink. I need something for my wang to shrink. Okay, so this is the nine inches. Uh, do what, Randy? I ain't worried about it. Randy's like, I ain't worried about it. <laughs> hey, Toby and Sally. Sally and Toby. And so we're going to be holding this here. And grab it there. I'm making an ear cuff. And then I'm grabbing it there and bending it around. And see, that's the thing, Dark Fury, is each person's so different. So it's funny, I eat too little, I gain, uh, retain weight from it, right? And that's, uh, some people do really well on actually, you know, just being way more active and having a higher calorie diet. Some people benefit from, you know, just gentle exercise and, uh, you know, lower calories, it's, you know, we're all going to find what works for us, for us, but no reason why we can't learn from each other's experiences. Nicole says, Yvonne, I feel like those wings would be great for making wing molds. I agree so much. Like, it's beautiful, and I can't wait to kind of experiment with them. 
but yeah, just doing some little spirally, I think. Yeah! Asmuth says, no calorie deficit will always lead to weight loss. Shut up with your science, Asmuth. <laughs> but no, I just figure even if it's only a placebo effect of getting me to mentally feel like, hey, I'm doing better with my diet and therefore doing better with eating less and exercising more, mm -hmm. um, worth the, uh, the bit. Hmm. Just got a message from a friend. I'd really like to answer him back. But, uh, in the middle of this. Ear cuff cupcake. Oh, Ron Jeremy. Starvation mode is amazing. <laughs> there we go. I just, I love little spirals, you guys. Um, Ellie asks, did the Patreon packages go out for November? Not, Not yet. We actually have them in a work in progress. They're on our table, but we're also, we're, right, we were waiting and waiting for, I can't coil and cut my rings right now, um, because I can't get the wire for it, so we ordered a package from the Ring Lord, and it got here, but it ended up not being enough, so, um, There's that. So that's been taking a while. But we're prepping December's simultaneously. So December's will go out in a timely manner. It's just we were prepping it. And then we went and traveled two weekends back to back. It does look like a fancy paperclip. You're a fancy paperclip. And so there we go. And this is another super cute little... If I had made it longer... Like to go around... Just a really cute little uh, knuckle ring. Doo, doo, doo. Your face is a fancy paper clip, right? <laughs> Only on Wednesdays. Only on Wednesdays. So there's a nice little ear cuff. And you could do you know whatever you wanted with this, but I just wanted to show you guys some different ideas of ways to use up scrap wire. Because I've got just this little pile. How do I zoom back out? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Creepy pasta. Um, how much do you price those for at shows when you go to them? Um, something like this I would sell for like eight dollars. Just because I mean, granted it was and it's really difficult to do with pricing because I literally made this stuff out of scrap wire that could have gotten thrown away. Um something like this I would have sold for like five. Uh maybe put a bead on it, sell it for five. Uh with this one by itself I just sold it for like five or eight put some beads on it could have sold it for ten um but it's it's the perceived value in the price point of what people are willing to pay I could sell this for a dollar and still be making a profit a profit but um in my experience if you sell that for a dollar then why would you pay right people will perceive the value of your work as like well this is just cheap stuff can you do an ear cuff with a bead sure I've got some wire here that we can use up. Let me find a bead. Oh, hey, look. Literally, on my pile, there's some beads buried right in here. This one looks super pretty. I typically try to not use anything over a six millimeter bead in my work. Bye, Mikio. Oh my god, the YouTuber in a live stream never said hi to me ever. Thanks. Right on. Well, hey, Sally and Toby. What am I kicking? Oh, just cords. Pet all the animals for me. <laughs> so I'm going to come in and do that same process where my depth perception gets all wonky when I'm looking through the camera. And grip it and bend it around. So just making that little paper clip shape, as you all say. And then doing our little bend this way. And then doing a little bend that way. Do you later turn on the catwalk? Um, <laughs> mm. Dinner's smelling good. Do you smell it? Mm. I can't smell very well. You know that. That's true. And then I would just thread a bead on. You always want to make... Whoa! That zoomed in way too much. Sorry, guys. I was having Vaughn withdrawals while you were in Memphis. Oh, sorry, guys. We are actually having rabbit and dumpling for dinners. Compliments of Azmuth. 
same chicken and dumpling recipe, but rabbit and dumpling that we found online. And then kind of bending this around. You want to make sure that your, um, oh no, Jenny. What? Hey, Ron, long time no speak. Just to let you know, my man got a kidney transplant on November 20th. Whoa. I hope he's in recovery and doing well. That can, getting fresh organs can really make a difference. Now with this 18 gauge, it's quite um, stiff, but you can still, you can come around and pull it through. I'm actually getting pretty hungry, considering we had breakfast, oh, six hours ago. <laughs> yeah. Do, 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 do. Gotta cook, gotta the rabbit. Good. Well, we put it on to cook last night, Azmuth. Uh, on low in the crock pot, and it's been stewing in a chicken stock and bone stock uh, with a, like a bunch of like garlic and seasonings and stuff. And then uh, I have it cooling now so I can shred it up and debone it. I was watching old videos that she said they were really great. Right on. It's been years since I've been Right on. How often are you live? Um, Dark Fury, I'm live typically on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, more if I'm ill-prepared and don't have videos. <laughs> yeah, it's Randy and I aren't really celebrating Thanksgiving this year. Like, we're going to have some steaks. Uh, you know, and just kind of hang out and chill out and stuff. But it's... Um, Now this one doesn't want to go through the bead as easily. And so, especially on these Swarovski bicones, I try really hard to not, um, uh, to not cram a wire through because it'll break it from the inside. Um, so maybe I'll change my rules and use a different sized or colored bead. There we go. That one slid on much easier. Steak. Now that's my kind of Thanksgiving. Yeah, we're having like steak and asparagus and uh, roasted potatoes. <laughs> Karen says, it's amazing how she wraps those just all different skulls on <laughs> in such one day. I will be able to do that. You will. And it's practice. Honest to goodness, it's practice. And that's my best advice that I can give is whenever I'm doing something, I'll, I'll literally I'll sit down and make like 10 to 20 of the same design and you will show... Um, Tremendous progress between even me just getting warmed up my first piece of the day versus this one. Look at how different the spirals came out. Or if the camera would decide to focus. Um, this is 18 gauge right now. I would really, really camera, really? <laughs> no, it's like, oh, you want me to look at something? Fuzzy. Fuzzy for days. Will you focus? Come on, focus for me. You son of a dog. Okay. <laughs> oh, so frustrating. There it goes. Okay. Um, but you can see, sorry guys, I tried technical difficulties plus grunting. Uh, this one, and both of them are pretty. They, they are what they are, but I'm much more pleased with the tight even of this one. This is 18 gauge wire, but I would recommend starting with 20 gauge. Um, the larger the number, the thinner the gauge. So like 10 gauge wire is super thick. 20 gauge wire is much thinner. Hi, Toby. <laughs> now, we do like to say hi to people and stuff, and I, I'm not able to pay attention to chat all the time, but we do ask that um, you not be spammy and kind of contribute to the conversation and stuff. So, not just be like, hey, look at me. I'm a, hey, I'm Mr. Meeseek, look at me. Hey, I'm a YouTuber, look at me. I'm a YouTuber, look at me. <laughs> Sorry. Shout out to all of our uh, me seeks. Me seeks out there. Okay, so this one was kind of a purpley iridescent, and this one has a nice blue going on. But yeah, the 20 gauge just has a little bit more give and relax to it. It'd be easier to work with. Now he went to the kitchen. He's trying to, mm -hmm. he's trying to kill himself with waffles. Good job, guys. <laughs> Can do. Ooh, he's trying. <laughs> Mm 
So, but something I like about the 18 gauge is you don't have to necessarily loop it through. Like I don't quite have enough wire here to do that. Eh, we can try to force it. It, these are very easy to make into adjustable rings. I would just make it a little longer. Oh, okay. Shannon says, I sent you a link on Facebook for a great technique you can use with those wing stamps. Right on. Oh, sorry for whistling. I didn't mean to wake your pup, Judy. <laughs> And she says, you woke my pup. <laughs> Talking to the wire and beads can help on a mental level, even if not on a physical level. I'm told to say this a lot. Bead, the wire is your friend. You love your friend, right? <laughs> Making our holiday meal today. Roasted veggies, baked yams, vegan stuffed turkey, and an apple cranberry pie after that. Ooh, that sounds lovely. Yeah, these are round nose pliers. And so, again, that's not my favorite looking thing in the whole wide world, but somebody will see it and they'll love it. So there's that. And then we just come in and kind of the way that I do a, oh, Sudria says, Vaughn, I love your videos. Is there a necklace for a man to wear and would do a video for one? The Viking knit and any of the chainmail weaves are very widely uh, worn by gentlemen. <clears throat> I saw in your video the, on that song you're whistling. I forgot the instrument you're using to play that song. Uh, ocarina. Yvonne, do you use chains and ear stud earrings with your ear cuffs? Amanda, I do on a custom basis, but um, I, they're really difficult to display, first off. Um, and second off, too, it's with the stud earrings. Not everyone has a piercing. And so with these ones, um, they don't require a piercing, but they can work around all kinds of different... Um, you know, uh, setups and stuff. So like if you have like industrial piercings or gauges or anything, you can still wear this one. I have to go for a bit and probably won't be back by the time it's over, but happy Thanksgiving. I had something I wanted to say, but I can't remember. So maybe I'll just tell you later. Well, thanks, Nicole. Thanks for hanging out and have a happy Thanksgiving too. Don't let it stress you out. The holidays aren't worth the stress. Oh my God. Green bean casserole. You guys are making me so hungry. I love green bean casserole. Oh, well, go get some sleep, Jenny. <laughs> Thanks for keeping us updated. Well, I threw it on the ground for a durability test. <clears throat> Tracy asked if she would like for us to tag the video for MCFC on Sunday that she took. Sure. Okay, um, so to get that curve that we did over here, I'm going to break that down. So I'm gripping it. And I'm going to zoom out a bit because I want you all to be able to get like the hand motion too. But I'm just going to grip it kind of close to the end and do just a little bit of a bend. And then I'm going to grip it a little further in and do a bit of a bend. And just keep kind of moving and inching along. And you can give it a very slight curve. But then you can come back in and bend just a little bit more. See how that happened. Tracy asks, as us or as Back Earth Creations? Um, either. It's honestly, I think it might get more views and stuff if it's tagged as us. Okay. But if she can tag both, that'd be cool. So there you go. My favorite thing on Thanksgiving, um, <laughs> the curmudgeon -y, uh, in me, the curmudgeon in me is like staying home and not looking at people, but no, it's, I like going over and like, um, just eating with friends and stuff. Like I like the whole experience. I like the leftovers. Um, Izzy asks, how much do you charge for your ear cuffs? For me in the booth, I charge five for this. I'd charge eight for this, and I'd charge ten for that. Because of the, in that way, it gives us a kind of incremental, um, 
you know, 5, 8, 10. And kind of builds up, uh, you know, some people only have $5. You know, and this is something that, um, and I'll flip this around because I want to get some FaceTime with you guys. So whenever people ask me about my pricing, um, I've had people over the years comment and be like, I could get this for a dollar online from like China or something. And I'm like, well, that's fair. And if you'd want to do that, then go ahead and go do that. Um, but this is charging $5 for something like this that hundreds of people over the years have purchased just little trinkets like this for $5 from me helps me to be able to charge less on my much bigger ornate pieces. Um, like quite frankly with our dragon eye bracelets, which this is one that I'm working on, we only charge 100 for these. We used to charge only 30 because we were desperate to pay our bills, but I couldn't keep up with uh, production, uh, so we never had them in stock, you know, um, and it was like, but you really needed money, and honestly, they weren't very good, <laughs> like, um, it's, uh, like, so, you know, we would just charge 30, um, and Shannon, I agree with you, handmade is priceless, it's, you're buying not just that person's skill, but their time, but their da 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 you know, it's like, we establish our own value, but, I also sell to teenagers at anime conventions. So I try to keep our stuff affordable and it's not uncommon for people to be perfectly willing to pay $5 for something. But I found I could charge a dollar and it would sell, but I could charge $5 and it would sell just as frequently. Um, but it also gives me room that if somebody's like, I only have $4, you know, can, do, do you have anything for $4? I can be like, anything you see in my booth, for five, I can do for four, you know, and it's like, um, <laughs> so it's, um, th that's just kind of something to keep in mind. And that's a business model that we've found has worked for us over the years. Um, so to each their own, <laughs> you know, and it's like, and that's a thing too, that to be able to turn a profit on a lot of this stuff, it helps to be able to just pop out a bunch of like five dollar earrings and then be able to focus on making some um unique handmade stuff you know because like these are unique but it's like I don't know how many hundreds of pairs that I've made like this in that same style you know just with like that same kind of formula um but in different bead colors and in different wire colors and you know so and, and that's I just made what 10 15 23 dollars worth of inventory um out of scrap <laughs> in like two beads that I literally found on my desk. <laughs> hmm. Ah, the trash mail is up in their game. Trash mail? Uh huh. You know all those. You've been pre approved. Mm. Well, now you're getting emails about it. I don't think they've actually looked at my credit score because <laughs> I'm not pre approved for anything. <laughs> I'm pre approved for, you know, uh, Nothing. Literally nothing. Um, I meant what season is better to buy polymer clay when you're buying online? Um, oh, I don't know. I don't know if season has anything to do with it. It's, um, I can't sell my bone craft because I don't know what it's even worth. You'll need to coach me. Right on. And that's a lot of it. Whenever we were starting out, Randy and I priced everything way lower than what it should have been. Um, but we, we again, we were desperate for sales you know, just help us get product moving, you know, it's like building a customer base, building a repertoire, building our skill, um, because that's something too, is that like my first wire wrapping projects, guys, no, they were bad, they were pretty bad, it was rough, but people still bought them, because it was like five dollars for a pendant, and now for something of similar concept, I charge like fifteen, um, so it's kind of moving up in the world, um, <laughs> ooh, Oprah Rich right here, fifteen dollars for a pendant, um, <laughs> scrolling through reading comments sorry I started uh, what kind of wire I use parawire dun, 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 dun. this you can get at Hobby Lobby but there's way less on a roll than like there's only 45 feet on this this is from the parawire website 75 feet for the same price so it's kind of something to keep in mind but if you need it right now you know, that's, you can go to Hobby Lobby, or if you have a 40% off coupon, 
get that stuff, get it. So your technique and quality improves over time and becomes worth more. That's fair, Sheila. And it's like, there's all these, ah, oh, thanks, Terry. We went out into public this morning and I'm trying to get faster at doing my makeup for whenever at conventions because it's like, this is just the bare bones of what still, yeah, it's a copper cord enameled wire. This is the bare bones of whenever I do my fawn makeup and stuff. And so I'm doing the things that take me a while to try to get faster at them, which is the fill slashes. Those take me forever. And I do not feel confident in my ability to put them on evenly <laughs> or to keep them on in a way where the centers don't start peeling up. So, and I'm getting better at it, but still practice will make for progress. So Hobby Lobby was having a sale on Parawire. Not sure if it's still on sale or not, but would think it's so with Christmas being around the corner right on and a lot of it um fussy says i suck at lashes like in all caps practice um and also i feel like i look completely like fake with them on um what's up babe i'm about to get another diamond nice on your game mm -hmm. on your little thing on your screen no um like i've got three guns of diamond i'm about to get a fourth one Ooh. which will net me another achievement nice Hey, can I ask you to do something? What? Can you reheat the fajitas for us to eat for lunch? Yeah. Thank you. Easy. Um, I don't wear makeup. Right on. Yeah, and see, that's the thing is, I never really did makeup in, like, high school or anything. Like, I didn't start doing makeup until I started getting into cosplay, and that's because I'm like, I want to have giraffe lashes. I did, Michelle. I opened mail. We only had a little bit. Um, I got your bag. Was it okay, Michelle, if I opened up yours on, uh, on, um, on camera? Because I opened it earlier. <laughs> I did makeup, but now I don't wear it. Right on. But, uh, my friend Michelle sent me some super cool, um, from Wet n Wild, like, makeup ideas. <coughs> Excuse me. That I'm allergic to. <laughs> Not really, but um, I really want to try these looks, and I really like want to check out the products that they're promoting. So, um, tricks to getting lashes looking not fake is the style and getting them close to lash line with eyelash curler, gentle curl, fake lash. Yeah. Well, are you gonna have some of it? But what are you gonna eat? That's why we make a meal plan. But then we didn't get lunch meat, so now I don't know what to feed them. Monkeys. No, not monkeys. What'd you say? What's on the meal plan for today? This is this is our meal plan. This is our meal plan. <laughs> Do what? I did not make a meal plan. Right? So today for lunch, what is today? Tuesday? Sure. Was supposed to be salad and soup. Well, we're having leftover fajitas, so good job, meal plan. Um <laughs> woo Oodle lolly. But yeah, I'm just, I'm going to try to get a little bit more inventory made for today. Yeah, you are. Gesundheit, danke. <laughs> Brett says, your beautiful face doesn't need makeup. Just saying. Right on. And I'm not wearing it. I was like, oh God, I don't want people to see me. Y'all have seen me be wrecked on, <laughs> on live streams and in videos. Like, I have videos with me, no makeup, didn't do my hair, barely showered, that have like 20,000 views. So I've gotten over people seeing me be a human. It's okay to be a human, but yeah. I'm practicing for whenever I'm being more than human through cosplay and want to have like big giraffe alpaca lashes and stuff because I'm, I'm doing a cosplay guys where I'm going to be like a moose goddess and I can't wait. So, but me, m moose have like beautiful meese. It's not meese because of the stuff, but you wouldn't say Chinese's. Chinese's. Um, no. <laughs> Yeah, you know, it's really, really good. It's grilled cheese sandwich and creamed corn and top it off. Ooh, that sounds really good. We don't have any creamed corn, though. And getting Randy, not going to lie, getting Randy to actually feed himself can it's be so kind of... Damn. Look at that guilty face. Hey, come here. Uh, what? Show them how guilty you are. Hold on. Is it a casual face? <laughs> <laughs> Ow. <laughs> You're making me want to watch the original Disney Robin Hood. You should watch it. It's good stuff. Mies is plural. <laughs> uh, well, that's very nice, Fussy. Like the same 
Too much makeup is capital gross. Right on. Uh, My morals are loose, but I've never had anything yeah. quite like a... Oh, as with said, I have many lover lovers. My morals are loose, but I've never had anything quite like a moose. <laughs> a moose bit my sister once. A moose bit my sister once. Yeah, but grilled cheese and creamed corn, not good to lose weight. I don't know, I believe in indulging. That's what got me here. But with losing weight, indulging in moderation is going to be the thing that gets Wait, us where did we're going. someone just say creamed corn? Yep, they said creamed corn. Is the picture on your phone or my phone? Oh, I don't baby. Know. Mm. You on yours? Guess who's going for like a 10 hour walk today to burn this crap off? <laughs> Except for I've had 130 calories so far today. I'm looking, I'm looking. Oh gosh. Randy is guilty. I'm, I'm a new subscriber. Hey, Michael, thanks for subscribing. The we are just lollygagging uh, around today. Do it. The last picture you sent to. Um... Zach was the first one that was. <laughs> oh, That's okay. Randy with a giant can of corn, you guys. Giant can, only in Memphis. We thought we thought of y'all. Yeah, <laughs> just just can. snuggled up like a mother and her child. <laughs> oh, corn. I have no self control. I see food, I eat it. Right. The best diet is everything in moderation, including moderation. That was in Memphis, Michael, at a Walmart. Um. <laughs> Which I guess. Ooh, I can turn this around that way. It was roughly six pounds of six corn. Six pounds of corn, you guys. Um, cupcakes is on a seafood diet, right? No, I'm mostly on um. And fantastic news, you guys. Uh, it's been about two months since our last, like, weight loss update. Um, and I was really worried that I had gained like. 10 to 20 more pounds. Um, my, my clothes were still fitting the same, but I wear stretchy clothes. She wears stretchy clothes. Like, like across the board. Everything I wear has stretch to it, so that's not really a good gauge. But we weighed in, and I'm still right at where I left off two months ago, which is fantastic that I've been able to maintain. All right, Randy, this is so good. Thank you. Did you want any of this? No. Okay. What stuff? I don't know. I was just laying junk everywhere. <laughs> so yeah, lunch break Q and A time. Do what? Looks like all the stuff we got yesterday. Give me kisses. <laughs> okay. What did I miss, guys? Hey, Chris. Not a whole lot. I'm eating fajitas as per tradition. Oh, no. oh, My doctor told me to eat more a colorful diet, so I added more food coloring. Oh, that's just one <laughs> But yeah, y'all can see these totes on the table behind us. Um, those are the bins for um, the Patreon orders. So we're doing it. Slowly. Hey, I'm going to go through the stuff that I bought. We went to Cl Joanne's to get more clay to do the Patreon orders. And so, of course, I got a bunch of crap. Um, but they had clearance stuff. When you started making YouTube videos, how did you decide what to film and how long they should be on average? Manny, I did not have a plan. I did not anything. I was like, ugh, let's, uh, let's do this. Um, so, it's, uh, I wanted to teach people things, and it, they take as long as they take. Um... This is so good, guys. <laughs> so I got this. I'm going to cut off the uh, the wire wrapping that's on there. It's not a bad job. It's just I want to use the stone. This is just quartz that's been, they call it having an aura, where they coat it like in like a titanium. Oh. What? Helps if my headset's on. Oh. So. I might explain a thing or 12. That was nice. And then, okay, ooh, look at these beads. There we go. I love this color brand. I'm gonna teach y'all how to do shaggy go. loops <laughs> in a tu in an upcoming right, tutorial. And then, look at these little okay. bead caps. Why so cute. Why is there no sound? 
I can't wait. And I'm going to use these for, like, earrings and stuff. Make some little, like, large gemstone. Make them look like a Christmas ornament. Now, these are the ones I'm super excited I mean, I about. The kind of a, not bad looking, but horribly oh, put together. Um, <laughs> wire wrapping, so I'm going to remove the wire and then use this. Because okay. look at how the light goes to it. It's beautiful amethyst. Beautiful. Um, I'm going to be wire wrapping it, probably with a tree on it, because I really I'm like that stuff. A... Hey, Randy, here's a receipt. Do you want me to just make a pile over yeah. here? Okay. And then they actually had two of the amethysts, which I really like the banding in this one. These are the ones that I was pretty excited about. This is the back side. Who are you talking to? George. Hey, George. And then this is the front side. I want to do a tree over this. Huh? Oh, is he eating? Yeah. Right on. Sparkly, sparkly. I got this for four yeah, bucks. It. I think it's on and then we used a ten dollar off cheap, your order of fifty dollars or more. We got a like, bunch of stuff. But I was like, the price of having picked it out in person, you know. I was like, I needed my fix. I needed some more beads. Um, Vaughn, do you ever buy things and then resell them without modification? I honestly try not to. Um. So it's like, oh, they're for wire wrapping and doing tutorials and stuff because we're home now until we've got one local craft show um, first weekend in December, I think. And other than that, we're home. We get to just be home, you guys. And so I'm going to be doing a lot more tutorials for you guys. Um, I try to not sell stuff that hasn't been modified. Um, if only so I can be like, yeah, it's all handmade. Um because I, I, I dread somebody coming through the booth and being like, you just bought that from, you know, quote place. And like, yeah, sorry. Yes, and Azimuth is going to be here. going to put that bitch to work. Um, these ones I got. Now, these ones I will leave unmodified. But string up on like a gemstone or wire wrapped strung necklace. Uh, but this is pretty rocks, you guys. It's hard to go wrong with, with rocks. Speaking of which, quartz. Which, this is rose quartz, and I'm pretty sure it's been dyed, but this one gotcha. did not have the um, offensive dye veins in it, like how the other one did. And they'll still take regular rose quartz. We got these from Joann's, hey, Karen. No, no this one I think is beautiful. The slices of frosted quartz, just the geodes and stuff. So I don't have to hold back or anything. And it's just, I love the sparkling there on the inside, but... <laughs> mm -hmm. Gotta eat more of my food before it gets cold. So, like, they got double bounced. It it's weird. so good. Ooh, wow. The hell's going on in here? I don't know. I think he finally stopped chewing on himself and started chewing mm -hmm. on his bone. No, he's just borking. Oh, wait. No, I don't Bye, Asmuth. Get to feeling better. Ooh. Yeah, mm. I'm in full agreement. Rachel says relaxing and being a couch potato right, was the so best for Christmas and the holidays. And well, it's with for Randy and I, the holidays are like our only time of year to like take it easy. So we do like nothing. We're like no effort, no additional. I don't want to do a thing. And then last minute, I always change my mind and panic and we do a bunch of stuff. But... George. We try to not stress about it. <laughs> I'm done now. We actually have to get a new bed. That's going to be Christmas for us this year. I'm sorry, guys. This is oh, this, is, this is top quality decision. YouTube content right here. Me eating, yep. staring at my wall of polymer clay. Yep. I don't know um, why you guys ran across. <laughs> Celeste says, hello. I just started following you and love your polymer clay cake. Mm. Love your polymer yeah. clay projects, and of course your dragon eyes. Well, thank you, Celeste, and thanks for following. What I hope my tutorials nice can keep week. being helpful to you. I'm going to have to hurry up and eat this, though, so we can get back to work. Right, but I can't I stop talking. Uh, hmm? Right, cool. This is so good. I was thinking about covering this in polymer clay today. Um... <laughs> This month's Patreon packages 
I'm trying to have it to where everybody has dragon eyes in their package. Really kind of I need to which I'm pretty excited about. Hey, Anne. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just trying to eat faster. Honestly, probably the shuriken. Leftover chicken and shrimp fajitas. I've dropped off the shuriken and I can put in the... Uh, With rice and avocado. Canada. Super yummy. <laughs> hey, Sam Dog. More stuff. <laughs> oh. Now, this is from Michael's. Maybe a jerk. I never have enough of these. <laughs> yeah, Rachel says you can never stop a social butterfly. It would just be rude. <laughs> Anne asks, did you have fun in Memphis? We did. It was not the most lucrative show we have ever done. I think we were actually up a little from last year. I haven't checked our numbers. Um, but it was... No, we definitely weren't up from last year. We weren't? No. Okay, Randy says we weren't up from last year. Um, but uh, it was just, uh, Ooh, it was so stressful to see a lot of our vendor friends not cover booth expense. And that's hard because, I mean, you can only help a person so much, you know. It's like there's nothing that I can do short of buying stuff from them. Uh, who else has had this stuff? What is this stuff? Ow. Dark chocolate, blood orange, Godiva chocolate. is so good. Oh, Mm, it's so good. Randy got me some chocolate. Yeah. You know, perfect for my diet. Um, but no, we just, yeah. I like the good stuff because it's like, I only need like a little bit. Um, then this one, I've never had this before until last night. 70% dark chocolate with ginger, ginger and orange. Yeah, they're super rich. A little goes a long way. And so I had four blocks of this last night, and I was, like, satiated, and the serving is ten blocks. So I had less than 100 calories of it, and was like, what's blue chocolate? Oh, God, that smells good. And then this one I've also never tried, because normally I don't get stuff with coconut in it, because Randy doesn't like coconut. Um, but 70% uh, dark chocolate with mango and coconut. Michael's in their checkout section. It's like they know. They're like, hey, bitch, you just got some beads? You want some chocolate to go with those beads? And I'm like, yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> I like all chocolate. I've never met a chocolate that I'm like, no, I won't eat you. <laughs> that's the type of stuff you reward yourself with so you don't feel deprived when dieting. Yeah. And that's, I mean, we're not doing dieting as much as just lifestyle change meal prepping that way you know it's we don't get so ravenous and then just go eat fast food um got more of these more of these we always need more of these so i'm trying to stockpile them that way i can ship them out to some of my uh international friends so i clear out the rack every time and they keep only get putting like three more out and i'm like can you just buy like 30 of them <laughs> and then these we got i've never gotten these before uh, decorative shapes. These are made out of wood. I'm going to try putting them into really hot water and like, um, like soaking them. Hey, L. <laughs> cooking choices, not that good for eating, right? Or cooking chocolates. Yeah. Um, but I'm going to shape them around and see if I can't put them onto costumes or, or something like just kind of figure out some use for it. I did buttons and rubbish. Okay, everybody who sees buttons and rubbish, click on their name, leave the live stream for a minute, and watch their most recent. They did a fan art of me, and they did really good. Like they made me look pretty. <laughs> so, <laughs> there's thank you buttons and rubbish. Okay, more food down the hatch. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It just is. Every dream, uh, thirty seconds. But that tickled me pink. Um. It tickled me pink to see that because we were just sitting. It was really slow at Memphis. Um, and uh, Randy was like, look. And I looked and I was like, oh, <laughs> Buttons is very talented. Nice. Ah, it's on my head, so I can't hear. You can curse all you want with those harpies. Mm-hmm. And then... 
Randy and I went to Hobby Lobby. I don't know why I can't stop. Oh, we got two bags of chip brushes. Right on. Yeah, buttons and rubbish. And I'll share it on my Facebook page for those of y'all who, um... Ooh, Hobby Lobby takes so much of my money. But we got paracord for lacing up bracers. This is my favorite. Kydex is great for molding shapes, too. It's what the good old boys make holsters out of. I was actually talking to some cosplayers this weekend about Kydex and using it in conjunction with, like, foam and leather and thermoplastics. Um, it's apparently much more affordable than, um... Uh... Wonderflex and Warbla and Terraflex. So... <laughs> But yeah, we got these for lacing stuff up. This is why my house is never organized, because I just hide stuff in cubbies. Um, yeah, the shapes you just showed, use an iron if your wood shapes delaminate. I'll try that, Michael. I got just stuff that I needed. Normally I would order these in bulk online, but they were like 50% off. Use your milk jugs, gallons to move stuff. Right on. And I've seen that method before, but um, it doesn't quite make a... You can't layer it as much as you would other stuff. But yeah, we just, I mean, just a ton of like beads and bead caps. We got some metal headbands. I'm going to eat some more, but that's far less interesting than the chocolate. Okay. I'm going to go put this in the kitchen. There we go. Thanks, Rachel. I'll be right back, guys. I do. Um, hey Z, come talk to these kind folks. Do you think Skella would do well here? You don't think so? Oh, this is going to end really badly for me. Yep, dead. Man, they just loaded us up with archers this time, didn't they? Stay in the healing field. Oh, no, this is it. Well, at least you got an item. So I am officially seven worshippers away from, uh, what's it called? Mastering, uh, Bacchus. Mm-hmm. And also, I don't know if you know this, in the Odyssey, um, the Chinese quest, quest number four, that one, that used to be to kill the fire giant as a team is now changed to kill one jungle boss as a team. So that means the bull demon in Joust or, you know, the big serpent thing in Clash or... I don't know if Siege has one. But yeah. You know, something like that. So I'm like, oh, that sounds great. Does that count? So I'm definitely doing that one tomorrow. Kisses. Mm. Okay. Okay. No, okay. So and I'm back. Sorry. Or... Had to get a cup of coffee. <laughs> okay. Um. I should make stuff. Um. You and Button should do a collab on a fairy house. She could do wall art and paint the little fairies. Oh, that'd be so cute. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> okay. Um, so how many greens do you have in that picture? Let's wire wrap something. I think I want to wire wrap this. We made it in one of the other videos. 16? Not bad. 
and it hasn't had anything else done to it. It's just straight, aha, uh -huh, thanks, designs. Caramel with sea salt. Mm. Speaking of caramel, almond milk in coffee is amazing. And it doesn't curdle the way that dairy milk does, so I can drink the same cup all day long. <laughs> right? I was wondering when you'd be getting your coffee. So not a Von stream without coffee and cream. And this also, it has um, like five less calories per, um, per tablespoon. So it's like 20 calories less for a whole cup, so which I mean adds up, but <laughs> I was unaware until recently that you could use eyeshadow on polymer clay. Rainbow fairy houses are in the works. Right on, Sarah. <laughs> and it has just a few less chemicals than the uh, dairy, you know, international creamer, right? Hey, Tanya. Uh, you haven't missed a whole lot. I just ate fajitas and went pee. <laughs> <laughs> um, did some unboxing, but yeah, you can see we sculpted this guy in one of our other videos, and so I think what I'm going to do is set all of this stuff off to the side. Oof, I'll get to you later, chocolate. Actually, I think I'm going to wire wrap this crystal right quick. Flipping this person. around. There we go. Cool. You know, focus camera. Thank you. Hello, Em. From Sweden. Okay, so this is what we're going to be wrapping today. Actually, where'd those new wire snips go? I lost another pair of wire snips because I'm a bad person. There they are. Fire snips. <laughs> how long have you been using your Makin's pasta machine, Yvonne, and how do you like Yay. it? Um, I love it. I've been using mine for about three years, and the only thing I don't like about it, which is not exclusive to this style of pasta machine, is you can see all up in here, all of this extra clay fun, the, the is just a cruddy mess. But I let it build up and I let it dry out. You can actually pop your whole pasta machine into the uh, oven to bake this stuff. And then while it's still warm. You okay, baby? I think you just got excited. I only use rubber tipped tools to clean because I don't want um, to scratch up my thing. Okay. I just got my tools for wire wrapping. Vaughn, your face looks in there. Are you sure you haven't lost weight? Not on the scale, and I've been sitting on my butt a whole lot, so it might just be re redistributing. <laughs> but you can see here, you can kind of just like come through. And I kind of wish it were a little longer and thinner, but we'll work with what we've got. And it just yeah, gets oh, all that crud out of there. Eep. <laughs> Come on, gravity. Ooh. There we go. And then just shake it a lot. That's basically how I... But yeah, it puts up with me treating it very poorly on a regular basis. So I really like my Macon's pasta machine. <laughs> More often than not, I'll just take some baby wipes and feed them through. I love the non-stick little uh, rollers. Is this zoomed in or something? Nope, that's just life now. Okay. But yep. That is cool that he has the... But yeah, and this is like probably a year's worth of buildup, but I don't work in clay as much as some folks do. And most of my clay that I've been doing here lately, I don't use a pasta machine for. Hey, honey. Can you trash talk the other gods a little less? Right. Thank you. <laughs> okay, just picking up a mess a little bit. 
Okay, so I'm actually going to wire wrap this one. Tanya says, what's going on with Patreon? Um, the November shipments are just running quite late, um, but we're prepping December's simultaneously, so it's December we should be getting right back on track. It's just, and I'm so sorry, guys. I really don't want to make a habit out of running behind all the time um, like this, but it just kind of keeps happening. Um, there we go. They actually did a good job holding that on pretty snug. But, um, yeah, it's, <laughs> well, I mean, and I just, we're, we had two shows back to back. We had started prepping them November 8th, and then we just now have been able to get back to it because we were on the road for, you know, two weekends, and it's just, ugh. I know, and you guys are very kind to, you know, be like, that's life, How and we understand. How <laughs> Handy. Um... You guys are very kind to be very understanding, but it's still, it's, you know, uh, I feel like you all have paid money and you expect me to render a service, so I'd like to render my service without so many complications. <laughs> and I'm going to use a 16 gauge aluminum wire. And I'm spanning out probably, hold that. Why are you not in there? Yeah, Randy's having fun, but it's... You turn around and you're like way over there by the door. Where is it? Oh, I lost the troll. Uh, oh. Thanks, guys. So there we go. This is probably almost a yard. I want to give myself lots. And I'm just going to snip. Aw, oh, well thanks, Fussy. Yeah, I don't pay too much attention to the trolls. I uh, just block them and move on. So I'm finding about the midline of the uh, wire. And just wrapping it. This is literally a pencil. Um, and then uh, twisting it around. Same way that you would a twist tie. Pulling it off the pencil. Do you prefer aluminum or copper core when wrapping crystals? I think aluminum is easier to work with. I prefer both, honestly. Uh, you just um, you can actually get some beautiful copper-colored anodized aluminum that I really like for wrapping crystals. And so this one, and I'm just bracing it on there. This is way less of a tutorial and more of just like a demonstration. Um, Z, please stop making those awful noises, honey. God, that was my bag of chocolate. <laughs> mm, Poseidon. We don't have enough. <laughs> oh, sorry, it's Whistle Stop from the uh, Disney cartoon where Robin Hood was like a fox and made Marion and, oh, what was Clucky? Was her handmaiden? <laughs> As you can see, it's not really holding on too tight very well right now. Ooh, that's nice to know. Little John and Robin Hood are running through the forest. Do a lot of you, a lot of jolly little day. Do a lot of you, a lot of jolly little day. They get immediately healed. 
when I step in, I gotta wait like two, three, four seconds. Just gonna stand right here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. On that thing for a minute. Yeah, I don't really like this right here that's going on. But, um, eh. Somebody will like it just fine, I think. Right. I'm about to. Um, this is dead soft. This is dead soft wire, uh, Sparkies. <laughs> Carol asks, have you been playing with your airbrush, wanting to know if you've started any new projects? I airbrushed quite a bit of leather uh, before heading out to Memphis, and I'm in absolute love with it. Um, and it's just, it's been a matter of not having a whole lot of time to do anything. <laughs> like we had, since getting it, we had a, a weekend. <laughs> no, you hit oh, Penny. <laughs> Penny says, Lord of mercy, this house smells good. I'm about to go play Bob for apples in the hot skillet. <laughs> Three of our teammates were nowhere to be found. <laughs> Design says, and that's how it's done. Art in less than five minutes. She made a thing. Oh, really? <laughs> but yeah, and this is this is how I pop out inventory for the booth. And there's a lot of it that about this piece that I'm like, um, you know, right here, right at this middle part. Mm, don't really like it. But I can put it out for sale. Someone will see it and be like, that's perfect. And they'll take it home with them and they'll be happy. Um, or you could just wear it this way. That's actually <laughs> the prettier of the two sides, I think. Letting the back side just have its magic happen. The butt magic. I'm actually going to take this and push that up there then. Because that kind of cleans up that a little bit. Oodle wally, oodle wally, golly, what a day. Got the upgraded I little so dog running through the forest. Do -do -do -do. Good night, and thanks for hanging out with us. <laughs> For anybody who's That's watching so this, cool. hearing Randy talk to himself in the background, um, he's talking to his friend on the computer, so. George says his friend? Well, I don't think that they want our life story every time I say. They don't want our life story? I've got to fall back and get this big guy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, I told yep. you. Put that in the done pile. <laughs> okay. okay, so now we get to wrap this one. And let's decide. I'm going to use up... Do you wear other people's jewelry, hunt? I will send you something if so. I do, but not as frequently as I probably should. I actually don't worry wear anyone like my own jewelry very frequently either wolf spain says totally understand the randy thing my son online games and i'm always going huh because it's quiet for hours and he starts talking out of the blue go, <laughs> yep the struggle is real <laughs> okay so i am kind of just using up weird scrap bits that are just sitting on the table mm -hmm. so so far these are the few things that we got made. Hold on, stay with me. Oh. Also, no. wanted to talk to you guys a stay little back. bit about, we'll be putting up on our Etsy mystery bags, where for like uh, 30 bucks, you get a set of earrings, a bracelet, and a pendant oh, for, um, I'm actually going to flip this around. There it goes. Um, yeah, for $30, you get a bracelet, a necklace, uh, or pendant and earrings um, kind of where they're coordinated with each other but it's like a mystery bag so um, <sighs> Vaughn what kind of chain or satin cord would you use for that amethyst pendant um, let me see I'm trying I'm looking um, you could use full round leather cord I use a lot of chain from like enameled iron mm -hmm. from the ring board. Oh, um, I don't have any on hand right now, um, but I'm going to start wire wrapping some stuff. Yeah, Will you have mail gift boxes or mystery bags? Um, you know, that's a really good question, James. I think I should do that. A lot of this stuff, like I'll have like chain mail 
Like, it'll be a chainmail mystery bag. Um, would we be able to pick the color of the basket? Um, yeah, I can do, like, blue-themed chainmail, you know, kind of stuff. So, <laughs> um, and these, these questions are actually very helpful for helping me kind of fine-tune and tailor it down to um, what we're going to be doing. Check for knife blades. Or pink or orange yeah like I mean well it's because what we're doing is we're going through the inventory that we have in the booth and putting it uh, into a kit together so it's like and it's it's a really good deal because um like a lot of our bracelets um will be uh like oh, no, the chain mail bracelets that. start at like around 10 to 15 dollars and so it'll be like a 15 dollar bracelet and like a 10 dollar pair of earrings and then like a 20 dollar necklace but it's put together in a gift box or it'll be in a little gift bag um for, for 30 uh and then shipping will be like four dollars if you're in the united states because that's where i am um or to like ten dollars if it's international oh, because they are charging us an arm and a leg for shipping yeah, up in like here um and we'll like have like you know masculine or unisex or you know uh like the chain mail stuff looks pretty good on everybody and then like the color scheme so uh have an option for people who are skin sensitive all of our stuff is hypoallergenic. Um, if you're just can't wear metal in general, don't get the leather, you know, or don't get the chainmail one. Maybe go for like a leather one. But we're trying to do something that will let us do holiday sales quickly, and um, quickly and with very little complication. That way, I can actually get it, you know, kind of up and out and going while maintaining all of our other stuff as well. So. Um. We use a different color. Bright copper, uh, 28 gauge. But yeah, keep an eye out on our Etsy over the next couple of days because I'm gonna try to get those up there. We're also going to be having more, um, we're also going to be having more, words are so hard. Digital downloadable content added both to the Facebook group, which we haven't been able to moderate very well since uh, while we were in Memphis. I'll get started on the internet in Memphis in just a sec. But uh, we couldn't do any kind of updating because they blocked not just internet but phone signal inside the building. So like for three days, I couldn't answer messages. I couldn't anything. Um, oof. Um, later. Bye. Um, yeah, we'll have more digital downloadable content on the, uh, is your stone ph phone still charging? Yes, it is charging. Let me go through. Turn the vibrate off. Sorry. And this is Randy's phone, so he keeps getting, like, emails and stuff. So I've just coiled a little bit on, if you can see. What is silencing? Maybe. It's just a little bit of coiling. It's crazy. How do you manage credit card sales without internet or phone service? Well, the way that a lot of us managed our sales is every time somebody came through with a credit card, we had to run outside, outside the building to go do the card transaction. It was ridiculous. And then they blocked off two of the doors because they only wanted one entryway and exit to the room, which I understand. But at the same time, it's for, you know, we were like in a far back corner. Um... But it's just, it, it was hard on a lot of folks. Um, so, yeah, and it's it's so illegal to block reception like that. But they do, and then they charge you, typically they charge you. This one, they didn't even give us an option. Um, well, I mean, you could get out the doors if there was an emergency, but they had, like, tape over it to uh, deter people. Um, yeah, cardio. Well, cardio is not exactly what you're looking for when people are, like, because it was, sometimes it can be like pulling pennies out of people trying to make sales at these things. Um, ooh, key fobs are a good man box item. That's a good idea. <laughs> hey, I'm back. I remembered what I was going to say. So I know you guys use your phones for video, but my phone won't let me take long videos. I could probably stream live, but not video. Weird. Um, our phone does that too. Whenever we have it on certain like HD settings and things, it'll only let us take like a 22 minute long video. And so what we do is we just kind of keep an eye on it. And then at like the 21 minute mark, we'll start, make it to where we can do an edit point. 
you know, to get past that little gap that it leaves. Um, but also you can go through and have it like turn down the settings or something. Um, I have to feed the dog. How much longer will we be alive? Oh, I'd probably like 40 more minutes. I think you can also use a laptop with a camera set up, but Aaron, that's something that we've tried and we do not, I'm streaming right now off of like the cell phone service to space because our house internet is so crappy. Um, but we're working on that. Hopefully, hopefully we'll be able to get better internet. Um, Ooh, I ended up purchasing a $50 webcam that hooks up to my computer and I can make videos that way, but it does take forever to set it up for YouTube. LOL. How do you guys overcome that? I just live stream off of the phone. Um, because it's, we've tried doing Lauren, my friend Lauren with a uh, LaRue cosplay here on YouTube. She has, she has like fiber optic internet. Um, well, where she's at right now. Yeah. Where she's currently at. Sorry. Ooh. Neck massage time. Um, and, uh, she wasn't able to stream with her regular setup the way that she normally does from our house because it, the signal is so bad. Um, it's so bad for you. Uh, so that's something that we're going to have to work on. So it sounds like Memphis is trying to get people to not come to the show anymore. And again, there's growing pains. You never, it was their that first was, year at this venue. This venue was the one what blocked the mm -hmm. signal in this venue. This is the first time they've held a convention. Right. So they were really ill-prepared for what was happening. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, the guest house at Graceland, um, I don't think they were prepared for this convention. It was a very tight venue. Like, I think we kind of had almost too many people. Even the few people who showed up, it was still too much. The flow of the convention wasn't very good. There was... Like, there were people down hallways that didn't get any traffic at all. Not to mention there was a whole lot on the, the Graceland's part that yeah. could have gone a lot better. Uh, we've heard, and all of this is anecdotal. These things did not happen to us, but to our friends who stopped by the booth and talked to us. You know, Sunday during checkout, they're like, we had two people in the room, so they charged two cards for incidentals. And we're like... That's outrageous. Yeah, because they were going to split the expense. They were like, yeah, we're rooming together, but can you put half on this card and half on this card? And they charged both cards with like a two or $300 hold for incidentals. And apparently they did that to like everybody. They said, again, anecdotal. You know, if y'all, if anybody who's watching this had any kind of experience during the Memphis Comic and Fantasy Con, I'd love to hear your firsthand experience because it's just, that's rough. Like, how do you... You know, whenever you're at a convention, that's your whole budget being on hold. How do you get food? How do you get gas on the way home? How do you, without overdrafting your account? And then there was a lot of situation with the food. Come over here. Eee. Eee. That's Mirandy. And then we heard uh, quite a few people with uh, who ate at the hotel there. Oh, you may touch me. The restaurant at the hotel. Um, like, didn't use gloves? when they were serving up their food, like just stick their hand in it. Um, and then we also heard that there were quite a few people whose food uh, arrived at the table that was like not spoiled. just not cooked the way they wanted, but was straight up spoiled. So some of our vendor buddies actually spent Sunday having food poisoning, um, which is hard to fake. Yeah. <laughs> like you can't be like, like nobody like mentally gives themselves projectile vomiting. <laughs> like, which in turn made the bathroom situation interesting on Sunday. Because they had smaller bathrooms. We had two of them, but they had smaller bathrooms. Hey, Neverland. Sorry, we're complaining about Memphis. So, sort of called it horror. No, no. Oh, Rhea. There's way worse conventions oh, no, than this, this one. Wasn't... This was just, these were minor hiccups in the broad expanse of things. Yeah. There were no dead raccoons. There were no. <laughs> Could have been worse. Again, parking. Uh, that, that was something that was different this year. Um, no one at this convention has ever had to pay for parking before. Um, yeah, really. And that's, again... So, that's that's new and different. <laughs> there was a whole lot of the valet situation going on where you'd get something from one person, and then... you're So you think, oh, okay, that's, that's what's going on, and then you'd show back up later, and they're like, no, you gotta pay. Mm -hmm. Like, not all of the uh, hotel um, staff was on the same page. It was uh, the, the guest, guest house, house at Graceland. At Graceland. 
Um, and I understand why he chose this location to uh, to move the convention to because in the coming years, this is kind of like they're gentrifying this region hard. Apparently, so like in, in a few years, this will be a great place to hold conventions. Right now, that's not so much the case. Like, I'm pretty sure that feller who cut us off and drove in the wrong lane of traffic and then went around, I'm pretty sure they robbed that gas station. I don't know about that. No, it's because they stopped farther down, just like on the side of the road, and somebody got out and started running. I don't know. Might have been a life emergency, but it looked sketchy as... He might have had food poisoning. Might have had food poisoning (laughs) from the hotel. It looked super sketchy because just to... Uh, or they were drunk driving. I don't know. But don't know. to have cut off three, two lanes in a turning lane of traffic to drive through the two lanes of oncoming traffic. Um, and it's like, this I don't is, know. Yeah, it's it's growing pains. It's a lot of a lot of stuff, you know. But again, that what she's talking about right now with the uh, convenience store was not in the gated area that the convention was. That was mm-hmm. just us driving to our hotel. Which was not at the same right. place. But, but it's, I don't know, I feel like we're being very complainy, but it's like, we had a good time. We, was, we as vendors and guests, were treated very well. You know, yeah. it's, they took really good care of us. It was just all of these extraneous factors that are out of the control of the convention. You know, they can't make the guest house um, be better at serving food that's not going to make people <laughs> sick, you know? Right. Uh, I'm hoping that the guest house will learn from this experience and go, okay, here's the things we need to iron mm-hmm. out. So next year, they're far far better equipped for this. Right. It's the hopes. Yeah, it's there's growing pains on all fronts. It's, it's just what it is. But I believe very firmly in the organizer and his ability to put on a good show. Yeah. So... Got a hot pot, then you can always have ramen and coffee, French press too. <laughs> no, it's Assuming well, they don't unplug it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, it guys. <laughs> did we tell you about that? Um, and see, Yvette, that's, we had no idea. We're not from Memphis. We didn't know that Graceland was not in a good part of town. And it's like, and it's to me, it's like I grew up in not good parts of town. Like, but it's like, I don't know. I also, I mean, we got our, our trailer broken into a few times when I was a kid, but it's like, other than that, yeah, well, there, I don't know. There was gun violence. Okay, so yeah, I didn't grow up in the best neighborhood. Right, there was gun violence but, on Friday. Yeah, on Friday there were gunshots in the parking lot, and it's like, yeah, go ahead. Manny says, Vaughn, can I ask everyone in here a question? And then Saturday there was questionable individuals on the prowl. Mm-hmm. Yeah, non-convention goer uh, popping again, up into people's rooms. It's a ho- no, no. <laughs> Oh, the professionals? The professionals. Yeah, they were prostitutes, you guys. Like, and I really, because anybody who's been to a convention, uh, some of the outfits, like, if you see someone who's cosplaying Rocky Horror Picture Show, but you've never seen Rocky Horror Picture Show, you're going to be like, who's that? Is that a prostitute? <laughs> Um, so you don't know. So, like, I see people dressed up very provocatively and, you know, uh, kind of in those eight-inch heels and be like, oh, they're just cosplaying something. Well, no, that was a prostitute. <laughs> so I guess I'm a little bit naive whenever it comes to stuff like that. Um, but, you know, which <laughs> Tim Curry is awesome. <laughs> I was going to say hookers fit right in with cosplay, right? And I mean, and it's something that it's like, We've all got jobs to do, you know, it's stuff. It's, I'm not judging somebody on their line of work, but just um, at a family-friendly event, I don't think that's, uh, a, good spot that's a good spot for them to be conducting business. Just saying. <laughs> you know, whenever there's, like, minors around and stuff, it's just, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not going to tell them how to live their life. Uh, you can always go from like to light. Um, send mail to cosplayer sounds better, right? Uh, what was Manny's question? Need some help from you all. I'm trying to pick colors for a bracelet I'm making for my next video, and I don't know what four-color combo I should use. Um, Manny, are you doing it for, um, a tutorial, or are you doing it for a demonstration? Because for a tutorial, I can, I would recommend contrasting colors. I usually stick to rainbow colors and stuff quite a bit because it lets you be like, put the red one through the, the green one, you know, kind of, 
you know, put them through that way. Um, whereas for a demonstration, uh, just whatever you think is pretty. Uh, and then also you can go with just a, a con compromise between the two and do something that has contrast, but it's also very pretty. Like rainbows. Um, get a color palette from this paint counter. Stick to David. Olive, orange, brown, mustard. Red, white, blue, and gold. Just, yeah. And a, a lot of it too, is it beads or is it metal or is it, you know... Rasta colors. Okay, so you can see so far I'm just doing five and two. Two by two, hands of blue. And it's still I read every night, but right? <laughs> Welcome back, River. Four color bracelet, wired seed bead bracelet. Right on. Random firefly reference. Of course. <laughs> Cause why not? Wait, is that not how you guys do it? Is that not how you do it? Yeah. <laughs> right now, we are just chilling. Um and wire wrapping stuff. Ooh, Lori, that sounds pretty. Black, silver, turquoise, and dark blue. Okay, I have got to run to the restroom, though, real quick. Yeah. Yep. I drank that whole bottle of mango juice. Not the whole bottle. The whole bottle. Oh. Whatever will you do with yourself. I'll be right back, guys. Popping that around. <laughs> okay, I am back from the bathroom. Do, 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 do. Here you can see just a little wire wrapping thing. So I bought a whole bunch of gaming dice online. I'm totally going to make jewelry from all of it. LOL, couldn't pass it up. <laughs> right on. Actually, I don't think I'm going to wrap that. Okay. What glaze do you use on polymer clay? You started to tell me the other night and I got sidetracked with dogs. Um, I use PYM. It's P-Y-M too. It's Preserve Your Memories. I actually wear the one I got from you, Yvonne, through Patreons every day. So I've got so many compliments on it. Oh, thanks, Nicole. <laughs> One time I was in the bathroom for three days because of eating M&M &M peanuts. Oh, Lord. Mm. <laughs> How does that work? I don't know. Maybe a peanut allergy? Maybe. So, digging through some rummaging piles of stuff. Um... Tisk, tisk, tisk. Looking for... Mm -hmm. 
my own And you know By the way I tried to say I feel it I'm gonna wrap a key instead What? Yep, this key, this one right here Boop. Do you have any plans on making handmade soap? Um, no, but my friend Lauren does Well, her nana does Is it her nana? Yeah, her uh, her nana or her aunt? Her aunt Kelly. Her aunt. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, one of Lauren's family uh, does soap. So that's pretty cool. <sighs> but it's I prefer to just buy it and use it. <laughs> her aunt. I feel like y'all are better friends to Lauren than I am. I haven't talked to her in like days. Randy's been talking to her for me. I have not. Uh, well, on your phone. You know, kind of keep in on tabs with her and he let, he reads me her messages. Vaughn, do you ever do lariat necklaces? I used to love them and have a hard time finding them these days. Uh, you mean like the ones that come down? Like, it's a necklace and then it just comes down? <laughs> I was just about to do, but I have an old key. Very rusty. You can take some steel wool and kind of brush it up and leave some of that rust in the details to show it off a little bit. <laughs> By the way, I've tried to say I'll be there. Waiting for banana, banana, potatoes, to do 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 do, do do do. By the way, I don't know the words to that. Um, Coca Cola takes rest off. Right on. Do do do. And this is this is how I wire wrap. Um, they actually have the bead that the necklace flows through, so you can tug the tail and shorten and tighten. Ooh, I haven't made any of those. That's cool though. I'll have to check out how to do it and then make some tutorials. Even out of clothes? What? Oh, like a bolo tie. Okay. Uh, how bad is it? How bad is it? <laughs> okay. Order my first batch of jump rings. Let's give this chain mailing a shot. Right on. <laughs> They're easy to make. Okay. So we're just getting a little bit woven. Weaving takes so much longer. Y'all saw how fast I popped this out. Like, super fast. <laughs> How's the fuzz buns and chicky doos? Oh, the chickens are outside with their butts up in the air, just scratching in the dirt, being chickens. Mama's little dinosaurs. And um, all of our rabbits have been rehomed, and some of them are in the freezer, um, because Azmuth is moving in and bringing all of his rabbits. So I needed to make room. Coca-Cola also takes off the corrosion of car batteries, and cops yep. sometimes carry it to clean off blood off the road. Holy crap. Yep. Um, <laughs> no wonder you were in the bathroom. Do, 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 do. Yeah, it's, oh, who are we jumping off? Uh, that was Ben and Kristen. Ben and Kristen. Yeah, fortunately, Randy did have a can of soda um, there to uh, take the uh, corrosion off the car battery that time in Iowa. This is why I'm a Pepsi girl. I think Pepsi might do it, too. Was it that you used Dr. Pepper, Randy? Mm -hmm. It's just all the acidic is, uh, all the soda is pretty acidic. Repping, repping, repping. Hey, Brandy. <laughs> Long time no see. I swear I've miss, missed so many live streams lately. Well, it's good to see you in here. Right now, I am working on this. <laughs> I tagged you in a Facebook post about chickens. I saw that, Chris. Little butt nuggets, $2 a dozen. <laughs> what? <laughs> The thing with this dice jewelry is that the dice came fast, but I'm still waiting for the settings. So today I'm going to try wire wrapping some. Never tried wire wrapping glue on settings before. Okay. It kind of just gives you a prop to work around. Hey, Shade. I was about to go to bed, but I'm so glad I didn't. <laughs> today I am working on wrapping this key in this wire. How do I get the camera to... You can kind of see. You're always so bubbly. How do you keep such good disposition all the time? It's adorable. Hunk, I was a grumpy mess this morning. It really was. Hey. 
No, he's right. I was, it was horrible. I was just like, stumping around full of just grumpy. I hate going grocery shopping at Walmart. Like, I hate it. But I shouldn't let that bother me. And I certainly shouldn't take it out on Randy the way that I do. But I'm very lucky. I have a very blessed life. And uh, <laughs> Brandy says coffee and whipped cream and Randy kisses. I would rage her. It, yeah, <laughs> pretty much. I'm getting to hang out with you guys and art fart all day long. Um, it's good stuff. If you dropped that rusty key in the Coca-Cola, it'd be clean in no time. I do believe that. Good thing about grocery shopping at Wally World is hitting the craft section first, right? <laughs> I was actually thinking, uh, whenever you're done with your round, maybe we could go for a walk? Sure. Yeah, go for our walk. To quote Vaughn, right on. Oh. Right on, right on, right on. Walmart is like my least favorite place. It's We go in there. Last night we spent $180 at King Cash Saver, um, which is like the only other grocery store in town, um, on an entire cart full like the whole cart full and nothing about the cart. of groceries no there was stuff so underneath it too on. it was the whole cart full um just <laughs> ria <laughs> no really it's two of them i gave to my neighbor because they were the little rexes they're super cute Ack, the w word holds fingers up like a cross to ward off the evil but um Oh, uh, yeah, 180 bucks just on a week's worth of groceries and then like a bunch of other stuff. Um, you know, like yeah, well, we needed more flour and that flour is going to last way more than, um, than, you know, just a week, but you know, beefing up on some staples, but for the most part, one week's worth of breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks. For two people for 180 bucks i feel pretty good about that because and that was we got some fancy steaks um you know and stuff too so it's and alcohol because <laughs> we're luscious um where and then today we went to walmart and got not even kidding four or five bags um two of which were sweatpants two of two bags of which were of sweatpants uh, because it's cold around here and all of our sweatpants are all holed up, um, like full of holes and like a couple years old. Um, it was like 120 bucks for like four grocery bags worth of stuff. And I was like, how, how did we just spend this much money? Um, kills me. Every time we go into Walmart, we spend a hundred dollars and I'm like, man, and then we can go and I don't know. I like King Cash Saver. Um, I like all these. But it's, um, of course, we eat out at least two times a week. And see, and that's the thing is that um, it doesn't take long to spend it. Do you have a Whole Foods? No, we don't have a Whole Foods around here. And um, whenever we lived in Texas and we would go, it was super expensive. Um, my favorite sort of visit is Best Buy. My cheapest sort of visit is Walmart. That's fair, Robert. <laughs> I burn through the cash even faster. You know, it's, um, well, we hit the farmer's market whenever we can. And they have some really good stuff. And they have, like, some things that we can only get, you know, at Whole Foods. But, um, yeah. Notice that in Canada, we pay on average about twice as much as the states for everything. Yeah. On some of the stuff that we see, it'll have, like, the price for, you know, U.S. And then the price for, uh, Canadian currency. I... Tara says, Dear Yvonne, I used your technique to stain a leather hairpiece and it turned out amazing. Congratulations, Tara. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like everywhere is expensive, like, comparatively. Like, I don't know. Every Everything's expensive. We have to get a new bed because this one is killing our backs. Like, both, I don't have back problems. And I wake up with a sore back on these on these beds that we've been sleeping on. And we know it's our beds because we stay at a hotel room or at a friend's house. And it's like, we sleep amazingly. And then we come back home and it's like, we were going to go for a walk. Oh, that's right. Before it gets too much, before the sun sets. Um, get my dark chocolate bars from Aldi's right on. Yeah, getting it. And that's the thing is, Ruby says we're getting a new bed with our tax refund this year. And it's like, it takes a tax refund to be able to buy a mattress. 
Um, we're actually, what's the one that you found, honey? The nectar mattress? Yeah. I think we're getting a nectar one, because for a king... We're going to give that a try. We're going to give it a try. Um, their warranty seemed just bulletproof. Um, so, that's... I'm pretty excited about that, and it'll be worth it, and it's like, thank God we got the van paid off. Like, if you have a Costco, they sell a Nova Form Memory Foam Queen mattress for around 400 Right on. <laughs> we don't have a Costco. We do not have a Costco around here. Um, we have a Sam's Club, and we were looking at some of their mattresses, but, like, they just weren't holding up to the nectar, and for, like, 80 bucks more, we can get the nectar with their, you know, lifetime warranty and, like, you know, year... Within a year, if we don't like it, uh, we can just send it back. And Well, actually, they'll pick it up. And so we were like, ooh. Yeah, Nicole says, I need to get a new bed. I'll be moving soon, and the bed I use now isn't mine. It also gives me back pain because it sleeps crooked. Too bad I live paycheck to paycheck, right? right. And, Nicole, that's the boat that Randy and I have been in for probably 12 years. <laughs> it's this, um, this past probably three or four months. Y'all who've supported us on Patreon and here on YouTube and everything that we've been doing has completely changed. Y'all have changed our life. Like, and I'm being real with you guys right here. I'm not just saying things to like be nice or to try to be like, I, I, I am trying to show my gratitude, but with no ulterior motives, y'all have changed our life. This time last year, Randy had to scrape and try to find a job through a temp agency. Um to work at a factory just so we could make ends meet and we ate a lot of rice and beans last year our friends invited they were like we need you to babysit and they were like basically like can you come over and watch our kids so we can feed you dinner like they fed us through last winter and it's you know and it was hard like um it, we were very fortunate to have as many breaks as we, as we have had um, but to this winter be able to be like, oh, well, we need a bed. Well, we'll save up for a couple of months and get one. Like, that's never been a thing before. It was, it was just like, guess we're sleeping on this couch we found at the side of the road. Um, well, well, that's how we've gotten some furniture. <laughs> yes, but... <laughs> If this had happened last year, we would have just kept sleeping on the same beds with the same... It's like, well, I guess we get to live with back pain now. You know? And it's like, so it's nice to be able to have options. It's nice to be able to um, try to improve our lifestyle a little bit. You know, make it to where maybe one day we can go to the doctor when we're sick. <laughs> you know? Like, what? No, now we just get sick. Like, oh, I hope I don't poop my kidneys out. Like, <laughs> I think I need to go to the doctor. How bad is it? How bad is it? Ruby says, I wish I could be successful on YouTube or Twitch and Etsy and be able to quit my job. Getting yelled at all day is not as fun as making things. That's true. And it's, um, <laughs> Neverland says, the guess we live with back pain now. Made me laugh so hard. But it's true, you guys. Like, I think there's a lot of us who are kind of stuck in these situations. And that's why I, whenever people are like, well, you should charge for your tutorials. I'm like, uh-uh. Because the money that you would be spending on a tutorial... I want you to spend that on beads or on clay or on leather and make or something or wire and put it up or whatever, whatever art medium you want to pursue. Spend your money on that. If you're tight on money, don't pledge on my Patreon. Don't, don't send me money. Spend money on your dreams and your stuff in that way you can get yourself out of this rut of poverty that so many of us find ourselves in that is impossible to get out of because it's like... Yeah, the car hears when you've got an extra 20 bucks because it's like, oh, guess what? I need new feet. And like your tires explode or something like it's life can try to keep you down. And we've got to work together to get past that. And y'all have helped us and we're going to try our best to help you guys. So with that being said, <laughs> um, I'm going to let you guys go. And we're going to go waddle our fat butts around. Uh, do you want to go to the golf course and walk around and have rich people glare at us? Or yeah. do you want to go to the lake? You go to the lake. Okay. <laughs> go to some nice places, maybe do a photo shoot. Ooh, wait. Oh, yeah, because I'm like, I can't do a photo shoot today. <laughs> I didn't say do a photo shoot. I know, I misheard you. I'm sorry. But we're going to go, you guys. I love all of you. Keep being awesome. Stay warm. And happy crafting. <laughs> Go of course in your four. <laughs> Bye guys.